may need headphones for this. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, headphones is a way to play your games all day. All right, um, welcome everybody. This is Tato Toss Alpha Build Two Live Stream Two. We today we have um, Sir Billion, Curtis, and Michael. Sir Billion is the lead programmer and main concept guy for Tato Toss. Um, my name is Hector Robles. I'm the president of Pixelux and all-around art design guy. Michael is our in-house composer, and Curtis is one of our lead tech artists and programmers. All right, so how's everybody doing? We are uh, good. Eat everybody up with fruits and vegetables. <laughs> yep. Yep. I can hear your twitch in the background. Who? <laughs> <laughs> It can't be me. Wait, what? Somebody has Twitch in the background. I haven't muted. It's not me. It's not me either. I have my headphones on. Very powerful ones. <laughs> it's probably a feedback. I that. I'll someone <laughs> that it because I paused it. For some reason, uh... It's just your imagination. I don't think you know what you're talking about. Just your imagination. Running away with me. <laughs> Every night on my knees I pray. Um, okay, Google, you're freaking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it bounce? Was it repeating for you? No, it's up now. Okay, there we go. Cool. Tifa, you lame. <laughs> Where's Tifa? Where's, Where's Tifa? Tifa? You in the the video chat? It wasn't streaming correctly. All right, now we're back. Let's do the reintroductions. Welcome everybody to <laughs> Tato Toss Let's Play Alpha Two. Uh, today we have Sir Billion, who is our lead programmer and concept guy for Tato Toss. And I'm cool. Maxi, yeah. who's our lead composer, and Let's Curtis, who's our lead tech artist. And I'm Hector Robles, president of Pixel Looks and all around art and design guy. He's lame, though. <laughs> uh, do you really need to say lead if it's only like a couple people and they all do the one thing? Yeah, we're awesome. We're leads of ourselves. <laughs> yep. lead I'm lead, guy. lead person. Lead, lead, lead of everything. Your lead, lead on this project. Your lead, lead so I still project. hear that twitch in the background. Probably somebody's YouTube also. There's no twitch in the background. But I want to have it open so I can watch. <laughs> if anyone has their live streams open, use them. I got it muted Thank though. It's, if it's muted, it shouldn't make any noise. Yeah. So when can I start throwing fruits and veggies at people? Yeah, let's go ahead and start a, uh, let's create a world. And how do you hear it? Maybe you have it open in the background because I only hear it once. No, I don't have it. You That's sure? I unmuted it. Is it worse? <laughs> how about now? 
It was my fault. It derped. Uh, I told you, it's all <laughs> fault. Awesome! It. I produced it to death, like always. Alright, um... Blaming everybody else, but it's your fault. Yeah. Alright. Potato. Alpha. Two. And just like that, no one's getting fired today. We should have somebody else streaming who uh, gets better KDs. Yeah. <laughs> So, what do five minutes and seconds? All my RAMs and my graphics cards are dedicated to Twitch. Uh, okay, we'll open. So. Five minutes and seconds. <laughs> uh, well. We figure out how many seconds are in five minutes. Yep. Uh, we <laughs> sixty times enough pop. <laughs> Whatever your face. I was gonna talk about um, Disaster Cake and Mike, the <laughs> owner and president of Disaster Cake, who was successfully um, had his Kickstarter for Soul Saga got funded. Um, he was gonna he's gonna join us today if. Not he'll join us at another time, but hopefully he'll be able to play with us for a little bit. Cause he's cool like that. Yep. He probably like slept through the alarm though, cause he's on Japan time. <laughs> Japan time. Japan time's best time. Wait, you get free machine gun mode for the infinite ammo? People yeah. playing? Who's who's streaming their screen? Nobody. Nobody. Somebody's incognito plan. Yeah, incognito stream your plan. screen. I just noticed that you get infinite ammo for for shock for uh shock for, There we go. Hold on. Yeah. All right. I'm starting a room. Official room. Game one. Uh, where is this? I guess I'll go find one, right? Where's Tato? I'm know. about I'm about to jump in as well, but I'm just setting up my controls. Is it showing up? Yeah, you get free. Infinite ammo gives you machine gun mode. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, I saw that earlier today. Also, yeah. one of the coolest things we got so far, and sorry for the potato net streaming, but we anybody who likes Attack on Titan will enjoy this. Whoop. Um, is that <laughs> whoa? <laughs> who is? What is it? Game one. Uh, game one. Okay. Yep, now we have a hookshot, and eventually, right now it's infinite, but eventually it'll be a type of special power-up that'll let you do three or five. We're not decided yet on using the nope. And what was the nope again, Sir Billion? Oh my god! It's a near-object, fully escaped cable. Woo! Uh, gotta do it over again. Whee! Don't worry, I'm coming. I'm coming. Ah, crap, I'm frozen. Please. Between you potato work. netting and you potato netting. I <laughs> see so you freeze framing, but your ammo comes out just fine. Yeah. Why is it doing this? What's going on? It's not letting me go in. Ah, oh. what? Because for some reason it keeps on crashing. I don't know what it is. Okay. Oh, there's somebody. It's not fair. I can't join in the middle of a fight. It's good quality. Uh, let me see. Good quality. Uh, I don't want good quality. Alright, now that I know about this Edo machine gun. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> that doesn't work out for me. Probably gonna have to move it back to where I got it from. Oh, check this out. We also added uh, out of bounds. Look at that. Oh my gosh, no! I'm a side out of bounds. What's gonna happen? Make it fast. Oh, and you get a, you get knocked out. You get teleported back into the middle of the 
or whatever your spawn point is. Ow. Hey, are we going to have a penalty for going out of bounds? Uh, uh, right now, if you go out of bounds too long, you pretty much get your uh, score deducted. Uh, oh yeah, don't try to exploit the levels, you're gonna get hurt. The game's glitching on me. And I don't know why. Oh yeah, you, you nerfed it. You nerfed my ice mode! Yeah, <laughs> so, um, Curtis, you're just streaming your fi folder structure. See, I thought so. Nobody said anything. I'm, I'm trying to do just the window. Oh, that's the window. Where is the game's not showing up? Why isn't the game showing up? Alright, I guess we got some viewers that are actually asking us questions. Woo! Give me a second. Where are your alleged viewers? J Railman? I'm trying! I don't know what that is. Alright, let me uh, go to YouTube. Getting run. Gonna show up. Uh, hey, can somebody else stream? Oh, this I'm is the new. This is the newest build. Okay. I just realized I had to download the newest build. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. It's not of my Cause I, cause I got the old build on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to get the one for the first? Yeah. Uh, I had to make it not full screen. Is it still sharing? Did I make it full screen? Yeah, I'm going to switch over to you, Curtis. Is it sharing? Yeah. Okay. Actually, it's just sharing your full screen. You can't do full screen, and my body was just taken out. Uh, there you go. I know how much you like playing full screen, but it sucks for Hangout. I like full screen window mode. I don't want to play why full screen. Laggy? Why are you laggy? Full screen might make me lag. Yeah, don't do full screen. Do like the lowest settings if you are got a potato computer. Full screen. Yeah, stay flush. Potato Looks computer. like a Twitch. Got a question there. Um. Who's Christopher? Christopher Hello, Ryan. Christopher. Hello, Tifa. Um, no, he's a duck, and his name is Grayson. He's not the only character in game right now. We also have uh, Tato, who's the main character based that we base it on this game. This was for Ludum there, 27? Mm-hmm. Or 28? 27, 28. Yeah, that's when we came up with the concept, and... Whenever somebody can jump in, I guess I'll show. What's the button for it? It's page down, and this is Tato. Oh. Tato, Tato. And apparently the match is over, so. Uh, um, I don't know if you see Tato's animations. Oh, did you start a new room? Yeah. Look at them ears. This is uh, Tato right here. Look at that pain. He's a potato dog, and each oh, one of them has a, a different you're a duck throat as well. they use. What? Ah, oh, my face. All right, I'm gonna go in. I think you pick up the rockets. Download, please. Oh, that was kind of cool. Bounce to be skipped. You gotta, you gotta do the uh, the aerial assault. Ah, oh, man, you should you should totally make it so you can aim down on this. This is yep. can aerial assault so, like this. So we're gonna focus heavily on a lot of verticality and uh, obstacle maneuvering in this game. So it'll we'll make it easy for you to navigate levels and get through areas. So we'll add a lot of obstacles. The main thing about Tato Toss is that all your throw deuce uses physics, so it can bounce around and you can you can actually deflect people's throw deuce with your own throw deuce and use walls to your advantage. So yeah, don't get caught in a small corridor because it's gonna hurt a lot. It's all about throw deuce. It's 
So somebody's requesting a banana launcher. That'd be awesome. <laughs> we'll see what we can do about that. Sitting here getting okay. hit. Which, who I have no idea who it is. It's Corey Commander getting hit in the face. Mm hmm. We could try to adjust menus. Ah, uh, one minute left. Let's try to go confirmation. What my ping fix is, because it was at like a thousand milliseconds. So next version we should. Well, next version we should have a new UI. Mainly for the in-game, right. not the in-game UI as much. Other than score and some other option screens, but for the main screen. Which one is it? Woot. <laughs> yep. Whoa. Oh no. I'm getting out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yay, we're oh, gonna have our uh, UI programmer, lead UI programmer, jumping in right now. Oh my god, I'm spinning. <laughs> Why am I spinning? Alright, game's over. I'm gonna reduce this lag a bit. Oh, wow. Uh, I swear I need to get myself a mouse. You can do. Captain Kurt. Oh, you... What? I think, I think I saw a mouse downstairs. So, hey everybody, Daniel Konjerski just joined us. He's our lead UI guy because I don't like doing UI and he likes it, so. Wait, he actually likes it? <laughs> I know, I it's weird. Was, I thought he was just able to do it, and that's why. And he likes it. That somebody Tifa wants a banana launcher. Who's 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 what's Captain Tifa? Kurt? Where's Tifa at? I don't see Tifa anywhere. She's in the YouTube channel. She's, She's on YouTube. cool king. Oh, there's a YouTube. Yeah. They have YouTube too. Be his uh, hangout. That's a stream through YouTube. Wow. Now I have to do it. I guess this is one. So we got three viewers right now. Stand out on the comments and I'll say hi to you. Right. Oh, that's a chat there. Ooh. We're currently using Unity 3D for all our work and as well as Blender for the 3D modeling, GIMP for a lot of textures, Inkscape as well. Um, and uh, Maxi, what do you use for audio? Uh, Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops. And, Fruity you know, Loops. we use Git to keep everybody synced up as well as a, a myriad of Google services for us to work remotely. Yep. And that question by, was by Christopher. And I hear, uh, I hear from my friend Tifa that Christopher is interested in game design. So definitely uh, ask us as many questions as you like, Christopher. No! Oh my gosh. Oh, that was Max. Oh, that's a potato. Not really oh funny. man, somebody got hit in the face. It's my fireballs! Ah! <laughs> No, oh, uh, the only thing about fire. Streamer. Yeah, if you notice fire, you can actually spread it to other people. So if you get caught oh, on fire, damn. try to catch the person caught you on fire. Wow. Wow. Oops. Oh, dodge it. Ah, oh, darn it. Ah. Who's on the top? Oh my gosh, Who's that's dead? cheap. Who's dead? <laughs> oh, what is that? No, it's over. Darn it. <laughs> oh, it's a match over. <laughs> what the? I heard a ding. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. 
the Yo. lead UI person. Yeah, so this is Daniel, like I said before. He's our lead UI guy. And Hello, everybody. Hello. Have to do it. Yeah, you're cool. Nice to meet you for the first time. So, yeah, Twitch definitely has a nice stream. There we go. Yeah, unless you're the one streaming. <laughs> Three, two, <laughs> one, zero. Room caliber. Yeah, Room I got like, 768 milliseconds of lag. You That's can't default. stream just a tato toss screen? Uh, not through Evolve. Uh, let's make it full screen. Oh, let me make it full screen. I wonder who that is right there. That person is trying to jump up at me. No! No! Hey, uh, hey Stapler, if you hold shift, you can run faster. Uh, Get back and bounce. I, I, like I try, right but... Use your pinky. You have a pinky. Use it. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna. <laughs> I'll try to get used to this. I hope it doesn't look like it picks it up. Darn it! That's good anyway because it wasn't even working. Oops! Went back to full screen. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> the aiming is just so precise. <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> oh crap! My chair. <laughs> That's out of the music. No, my chair is about to break. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Yeah, because of the chair. Oh my god! Kickstarter for a uh, new chair. So you need that for Oh, this is not Oop. a good time. <laughs> How many people are in right now? <laughs> Um, in the game? Yeah. I think it's just the three of them. I'm, I'm fielding questions. Ah, where are the questions coming from? It's on the YouTube. Oh, man. Dang, okay. Just freeze them up. I'm gonna get out of here. I get destroyed and destroy my chair. This is not cool. Oh. I destroyed your chair with my rockets. Oh, oh man. The floor is lava. Hot lava. What a day for my chair to be destroyed. Um, cheater. <laughs> He's actually back there fixing it there. <laughs> oh, I fell. Did you go to bed? Yeah, I like, flew under the stage while trying to nope. I can't shake. <laughs> Check some things in the ball real quick. I wouldn't want this to be real smooth for me. Um, Stop the stream for a second, guys. Oh, Please don't boy. fail me now. Oh, I wonder why I'm filming it at a uh, like 60. What you call it? Thanks for a second. Okay, room caliber. I am coming back in. I think I can afford these oh, whole CPU. Make room for this because the match is over. No! Um, Alright, I'm going to make it longer. Uh, three minutes. Turn it to five minutes. Okay, let's start a new capture. Alright, there's a new room. Okay, I'm at 65. Seems like it's a lot better. Oh, look at that. Who is this at? Right here. That is not Stapler. This is someone who knows how to play. Your audio sounds actually really nice this time, Curtis. Uh, that's your fault. There's a Stapler. No! No! Oh my god. No! Wow! <laughs> 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 himself off the world. I jumped off. 
This is wonderful. Oh my gosh. Um, well, how do I put this? We all go yeah. to school, but we actually had to teach ourselves a lot of stuff that they didn't cover at school. I mean, it, you'll get the basics and a pretty broad knowledge at school, but honestly, we, we, and this is my opinion, you can take it with a grain of salt, but with the amount of information that's out there for games, it, if you can self-teach yourself, yeah, that was that was a weird sentence structure. Um, <laughs> if you can teach yourself, I definitely recommend it over spending a lot of money on a degree that you might not learn a lot. You, all of us here have actually become more knowledgeable learning ourselves, and through trial and error, and just working on them their games and making our own little things. And that question, that question about um, if we taught ourselves or if we went to school was um, asked by Christopher. So thanks for that question, Christopher. Don't go to school to learn something that you love. It's a pain. I don't, I don't know. I went to uh, school for programming. I didn't know any programming and came out pretty good. Helps you get the job. Yeah, like I said, it's it's up to you. I mean, I've known both cases where people haven't gone to school and, and they've done really well for themselves and people that have gone to school and also do really well for themselves and vice versa, you know, you can you can not go to school and not do anything, so it's really up to your individual style of doing things. Yeah, I've definitely heard um, recommendations of spending two to four years and building up your portfolio instead of uh, spending two to four years doing classwork that everybody's already done. Yeah, that's that's what I did through school. I mean, I did most of my own stuff. Uh, Curtis did the same. Sir Billy and you did. I mean, Maxi. Mm. And Maxi, Maxie, what was what was your background again? In terms of video games, music. In terms <laughs> of general education, because I know you self-taught yourself to do music. I think your parents taught you too. Yeah, actually, it came down to me naturally. So. Yeah, grew up in a family of music, and yeah, <laughs> I don't know if there's really much to say about that, really. Because once everything comes down on you naturally, then over time, it's like, whatever. <laughs> you feel like you uh, got any additional structure for, for going to school for it? Um... I don't know. It depends. But depends if you, you really know, want to. <laughs> even if, even if it comes to you naturally, you still have to work hard at it because exactly. There's no way you're you you could be decent because of your natural talent, but if you really want to get good, you still have to work just as hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to go to school for it and learn some more new tricks and whatever, then you can do it. So, yeah, there's a bunch of different answers for you, Christopher. You just got to figure out what exactly you want to do and whether it's worth the money to you. Oh. Oh, you guys aren't lagging as bad this time. But, like I, get, like I said earlier, I'm the one doing the stream. <laughs> You're not alone, I'm coming! Oh, well, the match is about over now. Oh, my Dude. God. For the third time in a row. <laughs> Late going there. Nope. Late.com. Ooh, the quality in that stream looks like crap, and I got no performance benefit. There we Again, go. I'm gonna... let's, let's make it ten minutes longer. How about that? Yep. Is the uh, is the game actually accounting for a number of score, the max score yet? Uh, we haven't gotten on high. I set it to like ten, so we'll probably see it with um. Late.com, ten minutes. <laughs> Let's see. Just 
trying to bump up the latency here. So here's a shameless plug to ourselves. If you want to check out some of our other Ludum Dare games that we've done in the past, go to pixeloaks.com. P I X E L O A K S dot com. Pixel Oaks. We make stuff. We make stuff. Mm -hmm. to sound like an commercial. And if you didn't catch <laughs> and if you didn't catch that That's at the end of this stream, you can just play it back again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so Maxi, when do you think we're gonna have volume one of Potato Toss music so people can get it through Bandcamp? Oh man. <laughs> Putting you on the spot. One. A volume <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, volume one of twelve. Of tw wow. No, that can't be right. I just realized. I think my um game is muted. Oh, it's all the way down. Mm. I say it's before. You're not getting sound effects. Mid October. I'm all the way down. Yeah. So Christopher's commenting at. He's already trying to teach himself the Unity basics, and he's going to continue skilling as well. I don't see a problem with that. If anybody has any resources to point them to. Uh, I advise anyone who's using Unity for the first project to make an MMO. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't listen no to him. Starting <laughs> no, like, I think, like, no lie. That was, wasn't that, that was like one of the first things... Uh, Kondrowski and I were trying to do. It went like to the scale like a gigantic MMO. We did well, it. We just wanted to have some basic like. Just the game. I think play. I think our basis was um, that uh, four swords was it? Yeah. Yeah. At first. Back on. So it was just a multiplayer game, not an MMO. No, it was so, it was going to be for the entire college, but that was back when I couldn't yeah. program. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how to make an MMO when you don't know how to program. So yeah, really doing that's it. Now you're gonna be scrambling around trying to learn stuff, and then realizations start coming in. Yeah. And it took a while for that to happen to us. <laughs> oh, that's my neighborhood squirrels in the background. Hey, hey here, I'm a squirrel. Yeah, it's because all the old squirrels got run over. Yep. By the trains. Right, just speaking of squirrels, we do have a squirrel coming in the game. Her name is Kyle, and her produce is the hot cayenne peppers. All right, now that Get the over uh, here. ice blaster is nerfed, it's all about the rocket. Oh my god! <laughs> Headshot! Wow! Produce in the face. I'm late. Dot com. <laughs> Sometimes better oh, sound. It's halfway oh, over. Late. It now. Late. Pick on the late guy. Pick on the late guy. No. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Rockets from both sides. What are you gonna do about that? Oh, oh, what's this? What's this? Oh wait, no. Let me go get my rocket first. <laughs> no. No rockets for oh. you. I'm strategically Darn it. From having them. I'm gonna get over here. Let's pick it up again. You're gonna have to wait longer. We're at a stalemate if you can pick those shields. But I can pick out the new guy. Who was that? That was Maxi. Oh, Take it in the face! He over there camping on shields. <laughs> like him? He's camping the shields? I just yeah, got he's, the up, he's, like, he's like straight he's up posted the on the shield. God damn it, God! Over there, that laptop mouse. <laughs> without a laptop, without a laptop mouse. Just wait till that shield's gone. Yeah, he'll just pick up another oh, one. Oh, someone's away from the rockets. Timer is the exact time. Oh my God! Oh wait, where am I? Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh no! 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 Yeah. no He's doing the machine gun rockets. <laughs> oh, man! Yay. I'm dying. Come on, 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 yes. Where are you? You can't be too far. 
Tifa, you ain't even getting a penguin. I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. You did. I'm really sick of you, Curtis. Look at oh that shield. God. Got it. Nope, I did. <laughs> no! No! Oh, where? Oh, where? Oh, you did get rocket. How did you get rocket at the same time as I did? Ow. Because I got it before you. That was Max that you killed. No, we jumped in the rocket at the same time. Oh, oh. it goes right for them rockets. You missed. I <laughs> spawn right for the rockets. And you missed it somehow. Oh my gosh. Get up there, get up there. No! Oh, oh, I see what, what the heck was that? Oh, my God. Nope. I got smashed in the face while I'm open. I'm, I'm frozen. Oh my gosh! No! 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 keep missing. Uh, no! Yes! I, I hate Didn't those fireballs! <laughs> oh my gosh! My ping is up there though. Yeah, I, don't know I feel like Spider-Man right now. <laughs> you know what I would say to Spider-Man? Spider-Man, nope. Spider-Man. Darn it. You're lucky I'm streaming. Everybody's yeah. streaming. Lag. This ain't a shooter. You can't... Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not a sh shooter. It's a throw deucer. Oh, my God. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. And on fire. Well, I thought I got stuck on the wall. Oh my gosh. No, you know. no, no. I believe you're going to die there, Maxi. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's just enough fire to make my day. Oh, man. Almost so, on the ledge, too. <laughs> everybody here in our team is actually multi-talented, but we did choose a specialization to... You know, go into a bit into a bit further. Um, Servilian is definitely he's in the more on the code side, but he can do art. And um, I do I focus on design, but I can do art as well with rudimentary programming. I can understand it, so these guys don't try to pull the wool over my face. <laughs> and uh, Maxi here, he can do music, and he can play a mean game, a Street Fighter. Yeah, right there. I'm he failing so, so hard. Life. I'm failing so hard at Tato Toss. I need a mouse. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, Daniel, oh, he that. he can he understands and can do art. He went to school for it for a bit, and um, <laughs> he also does programming. They both went. To, uh, Daniel and Sir Billion went together to oh. what was it? Devry. Chase me. They yeah, chased me with that. In Georgia. Ball. Okay. I can play guitar. Oh yeah, he can play guitar too. <laughs> I I forgot about that my story. Oh my god! Damn it! No. Get out of here. Oh, Sir oh. Billy can also play music too, and yeah, Curtis Curtis can do everything. <laughs> cool. He's a poser. Yeah. He's like, He's really oh, I don't know how to program. I'm gonna learn, and then he learned, and it was awesome. Oh wow! How did our, you fir that? our first game together that. was Evo Dragon, and like Curtis didn't know anything about programming. <laughs> it still turned out pretty decent. Except for that, oh look, it, we're almost done. And you think it, what's the score limit? I don't remember what I said up here. I'm supposed four to wins, twelve deaths. <laughs> Zero wins, eleven deaths. <laughs> oh, is oh, that, that what blue and red? Yeah. That's yeah. What that is? Man, Curtis is like guys, 16 to 3. That's what Dang that is. Curtis. You guys are the that is Curtis, Curtis can do art. I'm and doing MLG hey man, I'm do animation. 
Um, he can he can tato toss. He can tato toss. I, I wouldn't go up against him on tato toss. And well, I gotta I wouldn't go up against anybody because I pretty much suck. Yep. <laughs> yeah, don't don't agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I suck too. Time. Hold on. Don't go in with, that one. with or without lag. <laughs> and um. So right of our team, who we don't have here right now, is um. All right. Megan Lawson. You can see her stuff at MeganLawsonArt.com. She's one of our concept yeah. artists. And Randa. Randa Panda Randa. Ravara, Randa Panda. Randa Mater. Randa Mater. She does a lot of our animations. She's also very good. RandaRivera.com. Or was it WordPress? I don't know. It's Randa Rivera. Um, huh. dot wordpress.com she does a lot of our animations she's also a very good concept artist and Randa and Megan they, they're both Interesting. work together because we do pixel looks part time and then Tifa if she nope. eventually wants to she'll be doing <laughs> textures yeah. for us again quit being a slacker <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah, I it wasn't even me that time. Join the dark side. Join the duck side. The duck side. Ooh, we could ah. do that. Have like a Star Wars-y trailer and say join the duck side. And have great <laughs> <laughs> like I was just... <gasps> join the awesome. dark side. It's already pretty fabulous. I guess he'd make a, a pretty good Dark Lord. <sighs> Yeah, he would be the, the most fabulous Dark Lord ever. Dark Lord? <laughs> Destroy it. Well, I'm already black, so yeah, that fits me. <laughs> the Dark Lord, I could be darker. Yes, go get a hand. You can also lose. Mm. Where are you? Are you in this mar No, that's, that's me getting hit. Come on, oh, guys! Oh, Share the stream with other people. We only got three viewers. Uh. Ooh, where's the YouTube link thing that everybody's watching? I don't know. Apparently, it's next door. Here, I'll All copy right. it. It's in the chat. Cool. Per hey, does anybody else run into the issue? Of Tifa not working for us anymore? Of, um. <laughs> She's of, probably raging over there. I have two accounts on GitHub. <laughs> She's probably saying she, she hates me right now. Oh I know you want to, Tifa. We're just waiting on you to figure out life. Yeah. Stop adventure timing, IRL. Oh, you're on fire. Come join us. And no. Come into the darkness of a dark the darkness room. Darkness of family-friendly game time. Yeah. Oh wow! I didn't hit you because you were spawn protected. Who's hosting the room, Curtis? Yeah. Are you streaming as well? Yeah, I have him streaming right now. My hangout. I don't wonder why. Ah, uh, <laughs> hey, you should know. send me the game link. Is there room? It's it's in the Dropbox. Not the Dropbox, it's Google Drive. I mean Google, Google Drive, sorry. I'm just today's date. Yeah, newest on it too, just in case you couldn't figure it out. How come we can't use SkyDrive? Everybody here's on Windows, right? Sky I think Drive I might have found a bug in the game. Maybe. Where are it's you? When I, it's, I think it's when... Let me see. Yeah, it's when I hold the right button on the wall. Actually, I'm trying to do it. And you can't do it anymore. I can't do it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you're trying to make us it. look it's bad. Like, That's what you get. Yeah. No, because I did it about three or four times, and I was hanging on the walls. I'm trying to do it again. Oh, you're probably just doing it. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's ledge hanging. It's supposed to do that. Just there's no anim. Do you guys mind if I hacked in with uh, unlimited health? <laughs> no, I mean yes. 
can't say no to unlimited. Oh, I just realized if Curtis is streaming and hosting the room, that's probably where the lag's coming from. Well, maybe yeah. somebody else needs to host. Well, I don't want to. It's gotta be someone who's not streaming. I'm not streaming. I can host yeah, the next one. Not, um, oh man, I forgot we had my beautiful UI in there that got scrapped. Didn't get scrapped. <laughs> it got deleted. Completely different. <laughs> Scrapped implies we can recycle it at any time. Is anybody streaming the, the music or has the music playing so I people do. can hear Whoa. it? What in the world is that little black thing coming out of me? <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's it's oh. the new cable. It's going to be a vine later after we make it look all pretty. But it looks but backwards. <laughs> backwards. Like it's coming out behind me. Probably because you're shooting backwards. No, I'm shooting forwards. Oh, so if I don't I haven't clicked on anything, then uh, it shoots behind me. <sighs> Am I the only one lagging here? Or is... Everyone. Okay. That's not Curtis. Sweet, I can Everyone work with lag. Me. Yeah, lag isn't a problem. It's you guys' lack of shooter skills. <laughs> that's, that's oh man. Rule one: never stream and host the game. Rule two: stream and host the game anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it! I'm not even sure how this works. Poorly. Shoot with left click and nope cable with right click. And hold shift to run. And ah, oh, you can jump. double jump. No. You can nope jump. You can jump off a ledge that you hung on to when you went up there. Ah, how'd you kill me? I didn't even, I didn't even see this. Still, Ooh. only three viewers. Well, spam better. I hopped off. <laughs> Where is that? That's the link? Yeah, go ahead and spam it on your social media. If you put it there. Put it on Reddit. Nobody <laughs> reads Reddit. <laughs> Whoa, are you supposed to be able to wall hang in the middle of a wall? <laughs> Yeah, some of the edges aren't completely 90 degree. They're 180 degrees? Yeah, I think it's the one. I mean, now I gotta like log into stuff. So, what is this, like Spider Man? <laughs> See, I told you, Spider Man! It's a hook shot vine thingy when it looks like all tato y. Spider Man. It's a nearby. Object pulley. Yeah, that's, 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 that's totally Spider Man. <laughs> you guys got me down to one HP lows. AFK. Jerks. Oh, man. Oh, I see. This I is kind of off I topic see. right now, but mighty number no. nine stretch goals have been reached. Every single one oh. of them. No. Just all with the last two. <laughs> I thought it was just all about the last two. Anyway, back to Tato. Machine gun rocket! Now it's about oh Tato. <laughs> that was alt tabbing. Man's got ten and died seven times. Yes, How do you see who died and what? Uh, apparently it's your cave. You can only see our current score right now. The top. No problem, Christopher. Thanks for joining us. Hope you get to play the game soon. <laughs> I almost want to try out one of the beta rooms. You mean like the other levels that aren't <laughs> finished? I guess we can show a little bit of that. Well, we only got one minute left on this Cool, we'll be a whole minute. I'm winning. Too bad our one third of our viewership just left. <laughs> <laughs> the only one who doesn't know us because I am another one third of our viewership. I'm gonna check the Twitch. 
Twitch. Look at Mister. I'm gonna camp the shields up at the top. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, if I stand here, it comes out, and I never have to move, and I'll never take damage. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Who was that trying me? to attack me? <laughs> that was me. You need you need attack to have push on these rockets at least, so I can like, boom, knock him off the roof. Yeah. You'll never <laughs> get me now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Bad. So what happened? I'm confused. It froze. It's over. Match is over. <laughs> That's how it tells you it's over. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, because somebody didn't hook up the UI for it yet. <laughs> oh, man. I had a game jam. I'm getting ready for Siege, you guys. This is not my fault. Make sure to type in downtown. I know wait, how to spell. Wait, what do I do? You just right. uh, hit return. Uh, I, how do I, I can't even click that thing. No, hit tab. And you get your cursor. Ah! So, find game, and oh. then... Alright, I'm gonna stream the next one. Yay! Scroll over, it doesn't actually work yet. Alright, what's up? What am I doing? How do I go to downtown? Go to click on it. Go to well, well I made a new map. I click on it, then what? Oh, it loads me. Cool. Guys, I, I made a room because I'm not streaming, so you'll have better. Nope, too late. Oh my god, a new room. Why am I missing out? Yeah, it's a whole new That's level. Lame. What are these blue things? Oh, blue things. Where are okay. you at? That's blue the. Thing. Just step outside out of bounds. Of while I figure it out. Oh, yeah. Should I turn on my video so people can watch me? Nobody wants to see you. Nope. They're all here for me. All right. Hmm? Uh, game no. downtown. Nice. Yep. He's like, where can I? I, I can really feel like Spider-Man. Shield. Why? Where do escape? I guess I can turn on my video. I'm hiding. Oh, you can't touch me. No. Oh, damn. Well, look who's about to join us. Wait, which one? I guess I'll do that one. Wait, how do you host a game? Create game? Oh, just create game. Yeah, but then you take up a spot, and we can't play together. What? Huh? Yeah, you can. Well, I mean, there's four people playing if you're... Oh, if you're yeah. It's eight. Oh, it's eight? It just says four. Yeah. Yeah, someone's UI isn't hooked up yet. Uh, well, the new <laughs> UI that I haven't pushed yet has it takes the actual count, the so real count. Not just some random. I think it is set to four right now. Tifa, you're muted. Oh, uh. she's not. She's unmuted. Hola, cómo estás? No habla español. Screw you too. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this was, somebody jumped on the building and killed me. Yep, that was Stop me. hitting me. <laughs> oh, you over there? You're over there, pulsed. <laughs> so how do you choose your character? Uh, page up and page down. Really? For now. Ah, yes! Ooh, let's set up teams. I'm Tato. Why am I on fire? Because uh, I set you on fire. Oh. Wait, fine. Wait did, so is it... Wait, why is it... Oh. This is, you can't do teams. It was working a little while ago. Why does it not work now? Cause you're going down. Here, take that. Dude, this Spider-Man stuff is awesome. Hey, don't say more than 30 seconds of that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marvel's gonna sue us, and by Marvel I mean Disney because that's can't Disney. sue us. We're pixel Oh crap! Attack on yeah. Spider-Man. So why just get knocked off? You're gonna have a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. I just knocked 30 seconds. The UI guy off the building. <laughs> 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 what? That was a man. That was a quick match. Uh, yeah, why'd, you, was why'd you put it so short? I put it for ten. She said it to twenty. Who died? Oh my God! It's, it's Tiffany. You just now noticed. Oh it? Um, yeah. Yep. Good. Wow. So what's the new one? Eighth Avenue. Whoop whoop. I thought it was some random no, chicken. That's, that's not it. You know what? All right. There's a new one. I see how it is. <laughs> 
Is there a refresh button? Important, I am. Hit oh. back. The new one. Hey, 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 is that the new one? Yep. Yep. You are very I know, vital to the team. I want to play. I want to play. No, you don't. Do she I wants to play. Do I need a mouse? Yeah. Uh, hey, Stapler doesn't have a mouse. Yeah, but if you want to suck by cam, you can play. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? We're just sitting here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this is totally Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. I just went through the whole alleyway without touching the ground. I... Why is it beeping? What does that mean? That means you're out of bounds. You're gonna die. Oh, what? Really? <laughs> How am I supposed to? I'm just, you know. Oh, um, it's from, war. It's from warning. From building you. to building here. <laughs> Tifa <laughs> won't play. I can't join. Ah, uh, that sucks. Hey, I like how like all of us are zipping through that. All right, I'll get out so you can jump in. Do, 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 do. I jumped out. You can jump in now. Okay, thank uh, you for throwing up. Thanks for the blue. Access to the game. I I okay. Tifa, spam the stream. I forgot how to jump. Spacebar. Wait, you're actually playing? No. <laughs> Man, you gotta put a dodge uh, in here. Well, I'm if doing. you're not playing the game, then you bend your legs and then extend them really quickly. All oh, exerting a bunch of force. Physics. So there's, a, there's really a dodge, right? Oh my god. Don't blow me up right now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's why it's dangerous to go on the bus stop. <laughs> not here just just the on bus. This game. The bus is a safe place. Usually. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could get stabbed somewhere. I swear, I want to play peanut butter jelly time. No! Take the fire. Yes. Play the, play the hamster you take game. the fire, too. No! Where's the rug button? Childish. Who is that who's glitching? <laughs> I wasn't glitched. That was the infinite power-up that somebody found. Oh my god. No, I mean, somebody was glitching up. Somebody's like, walk, walk, glitching. Walk, walk, walk. Walk, 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 Yes! <laughs> so are the power-ups different? Like, uh, are there different instances? Like, sometimes you'll pick up a shield that has 10 seconds versus a shield that'll have 3 seconds? Nope. Nope. Lazy. What? We got... We got three people watching Twitch right now. With yeah, ten. One of them is me. Oh. One of them is me. One of them is probably me, too. <laughs> one of them is me. <laughs> or actually, I'm on the YouTube one. I'm on, I'm on both. Ah! No! Yeah, go out of bounds and fight. Can you hit yourself still? Only after it's been out for a while. Uh, so By a while, he means slightly on. longer than z what? Not a collision. I just see a bunch of uh. Oh, ooh. crap! That was like long shot. Darn it! It's <laughs> gonna nope on this roof. So if you're oh, black, that, that means you're invincible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean that's the character. They, that's, what they think. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they think. That's what they think. Well, you commander is not invincible, and Stapler is definitely nope. not. I'm not in it. I'm sorry. Like it's not even. <laughs> he can't even mouse. Exactly. Can't I can't. Mouse. I can't even run. <laughs> Oh, I'm just gonna leave because I can't even <laughs> shoot. <laughs> <laughs> this is totally a Spider-Man game, though. <laughs> like seriously. Stop it! It's Tato Toss. Yes, I'm saying Spider-Man. That's the Spider-Man. Spider Ladies and gentlemen, that's the Spider-Man mechanic. <laughs> this is attack on Spider-Ducks. Are we gonna contact Marvel about their new 
This way, so I actually get the little uh, animation and hook shot model in. Oh, I picked up fire. Nobody wants fire. Fire, you're lame now. It's all about the rockets again. It was ice yeah, for a minute. I think it takes forever to catch up to anybody with uh, these nope cables. <laughs> Darn it. Stop being dead. Can't shoot at you if you're dead. So Obama endorses Team... Team X-Blades. Team Grayson, I guess. Thanks, Good Obama. Is, uh, <laughs> in the Who's sitting up here? There's only three people here. Bow, you just throw the balls bow, out of this nah. alleyway. I feel like it's going to hit somebody. Oh, he's camping the shield again. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't cool. He's quite nuts. This is this is why Corgi Commander can't be responsible for power ups. He puts the easy camp on the spot. <laughs> Too much power ups. It's deadly. Tifa, what you're making for dinner? Uh, what I made me was a couple of eggs with some spicy hummus and green peppers on top. What? Tifa, did you make some donuts yet? If we shoot enough, what? maybe he'll glitch. With donuts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're saying your programming is buggy? And yeah. <laughs> you guys will never take me. <laughs> I'm a guy. I'm a guess. You're lucky I'm not the master <laughs> of the room because I will totally edit you. <laughs> oh crap! Wait, you know you're not, not running from Unity, are you? No. Well, then you can't edit me. I said you're lucky I'm not master because I would do it. <laughs> you can't though. You'd have to. Be, you'd have to be in. Uh... He's got a developer account. Yeah, I'd alt tab. What? What do you mean alt? Oh. Oh. Open a Unity one. So you. Well, you have to be host. I said, yeah, so you're lucky I'm not master. <laughs> I'll master oh crap! Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Well. I don't know if uh, Mike is going to be able to make it tonight. Probably overslept. Slacker. <laughs> and this is why you don't make power-ups last as long as the respawn timer for them. Especially shields. Especially shields that block 100% of the and <laughs> of your shots. <laughs> I'm hoping it'll glitch. Hey, I can do this all day. Hello, Glenn. Thanks for joining us and watching our stream of Tito Toss. <laughs> Glenn de Girolamo. De Girolamo. Digimon. Yeah! This is almost no use. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 10 deaths now. I'm at 2. So that's what I thought. That's what that meant. All right. Well, I don't ever want to look Let's at mine. Just self make a, a shield smasher ability. Smash don't take my shield. <laughs> yeah, what you got now? No. <laughs> <laughs> a shield on the way out. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't use my shield. <laughs> the shield is so pretty. Yay, we got four viewers. <laughs> Yay, we have we <laughs> Stop this. None. We oh, can work together. Fight. Alley fight. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Oops, somebody got Darn pelted it. in the face. Yeah, because they're camping the shields and all having shields on. Yeah, shields last way too long. <laughs> I think they're perfect. <laughs> I had one at one point, but then I accidentally noped out the way. <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop taking my shield. <laughs> <laughs> we all have shield. Yeah, now what are you going to do? Now it's a stalemate and I'll win because I have seven. <laughs> it's like a bunch of ducks. 
In that case. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm 7 and 3. This is cute world. Oh, wait a minute. I was wondering, I was like, why is everybody changing at the exact same time I am? <laughs> Someone didn't make a client only. <laughs> Oops, I just learned something today. What? The, that, that thing doesn't delete in all clients at the same time. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So we are all getting that thing? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's why you guys were getting it after I already got it. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah, up switch, up time. switch to uh, Tato for a bit so people can see him other than than Grace. Okay, make a room. All right, here's a room. Stephen playing. I think I'm about to download this. Um, can you get T for the Dropbox links, Sir Billion? In the oh. chat. Dropbox links. There they are. Dropbox link. It's time for her back and for her to go back down. I thought she was. She had access. I let her sleep. Uh huh. Mm. Uh, Randa Rivera did the animations, Glenn. You can check her out at randarivera.wordpress.com. I'll post it. Or check out our Pixel Oaks website and see who's involved. Wow, did Sarah be really going to cease and desist for two weeks? What is that for? I don't know, it's probably because of that dude. But I don't see anything. It could just be um somebody giving out wrong information. I'm not gonna say any names. Hey, why is my tato toss backwards? What? Tato toss. Oh, bomb diggity. <coughs> Time to switch. All right, I think I'm about to fix oh. the UI and see if I can push it. Once I figure out how in the world to update this. I can nope too. So pixeloaks.com. I apparently I can't put a link in the comment. You're talking about on Twitch? On uh, YouTube. My bad. Ah, no. Need a game or whatever. Either. Somebody was like, little cute ducks throwing, kill, trying to kill each other. It doesn't make sense to me. And I was like, they're food fighting. Ah, it makes sense now. Yeah, yeah that's all you need. <laughs> oh, it's no. food, and that makes sense. Did you give her the links, or billion? No. What is <laughs> oh, wait, what link? The yeah, Dropbox drop links. Box? Yeah. Or, yeah, because Steve has not logged into her account in a while, and it locked Such her out. Your Pixel looks account. Such a, oh. Such a slacker. Well, oops. <laughs> I got to navigate. We'll do that tomorrow at work. Wait, so I can't play? You can play. He's going to send you the link to... We had a public link for when Mike came on, but he doesn't seem to be online. He's on Japan time. Probably next time. There you go, Tifa. <laughs> Box. Oh. <laughs> oh. So how do you see how many viewers you have? At the top of the window. Um, 
And on Twitch, we probably problem. have one. It's going to take like five minutes to download. Four minutes. Five minutes. Five. So the end game GUI is changing too, right? Mm, other the clock only, and some of the some of the window stuff based on those mockups. Oh, someone knows how to kill people who's AFK. Hmm. I was just testing the latency. Yeah, I was just testing the easiness <laughs> of killing people who are right there. Someone sounds upset. Yep. Yeah. Jerski does. So I can delete all these extra branches that shouldn't have been pushed to the server, right? Uh... Huh? <laughs> I'm okay for that, Chris. Did you hear that, Sir Billy? I'll let you make the call on that one. Yeah, as long as you keep Dev Master and, um... And that's it. At the yeah, end. yeah. We'll do if I can figure out how to work this new found application that's too shiny for me. Yeah, it took me a second. Like, all day. So this day level day. you guys are looking at right now is going to be the city level. You <laughs> you won't be able to get to the roofs after it's finalized and we reduce the amount of seed power-ups you can use. Or, nope, power-ups you can use. The rope. And once we add all the cuteness to the stage. Because of out of bounds. Yeah. Out of bounds. Oh, light maps. Oh, that's cute. This is just a block out of the level. I really have no clue what's going on here. So we need to figure out a way of uh, increasing our exposure. I mean, right now, probably the people that are viewing us are ourselves. <laughs> yeah, probably. That's exactly who it is. Well, once I get all the art levels done for a couple levels, I can go gorilla. Gorilla yep. marketing mode. We need a Reddit account that usually does bring in uh, a lot of people. There's nobody on Reddit. Already. No, but I mean, we need a Pixel, blue app, Pixel X Reddit account. We need to be famous. Yeah, another account to remember. Just <laughs> use the first password. It's a lot easier to remember. So can the, the people yeah, watching the stream... Like, what? Can, can, the pe can, the, can the people watching the stream hear us? Yep. Yeah. Oh snap. Hello world. <laughs> yep, everybody who's already in here who's watching the stream. Ah. Oh, we just lost a viewer. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Yep, we gained them again. We should put this on like uh what's the site to get a bunch of traffic? That's the biggest answer in the world. Hey, uh can somebody post on the UEA forum? Yu-Gi-Oh forum. What is that? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> there's people always <laughs> active <not>. there. <laughs> I got a good idea, Mr. Brilliant. I just sent it to you. Don't even. I don't know what you sent. <laughs> What's this uh, idea? 
I'm gonna do it. <laughs> What's this idea? It's a um, joke. I think Mike's Mike's around. Your Mike's around? Uh uh, Mike's around. Who's Mike? <laughs> well, depending on this response, you'll find out. <laughs> Who's Mike? Who is he? Uh, <laughs> who's Mike? <laughs> I don't even know who this is. Oh. I think. But I thought Michael. You're talking about Michael Staper. Staple. Where is but that's Staple? not his name. His name's Maxi. Staple. His name is Lee Stapler. <laughs> the DJ Stapler. Cannon. DJ Stapler, where are you? Yeah, I haven't even been here yet. I haven't been beating uh, up. Hey, I can't jump inside. What's up with that? Fix it. We can just spam this on uh, comments for news articles. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of douchey. <laughs> the government shuts down. Play Tato Toss. <laughs> <laughs> well, See, that's why the government shut down, because they knew we were going to stream Tato Toss today. Let's see if this other one exists. Yep, even the babies approve. <laughs> Nine out of ten babies mm -hmm. approve. Oh man! Okay, so looks like Mike might be able to come on. So. Uh oh. It's not letting me make games there. Alright, I'm about to delete it. I'm deleting cleanup. I'm gonna do it. Alright. I'm deleting the one with my name on it. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, I'm still here. Hang on. Oh, there's a Glenn. Hi, Glenn. There's a what? Glenn to Geronimo. I'm, I'm deleting. Yeah, I'm deleting my name. Yep, it's Glenn. I'm deleting old dev. We need that. You just scared the cat. No objections? Are we good? I don't object at all. Alright. Get that out of there. Nobody wants that. And then pooling attempt. And then master. And then dev. No, 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 you went too far there, buddy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to delete experimental. Yep. Perfect. Delete All master, right. delete dev, delete experimental, <laughs> delete club. Just delete the entire git. Okay. All right, how do you, how do, you do the invites on here? <laughs> Are you having somebody join us in the chat or just? In the hangout. Just copy the the link. That would be the easy way. Why would you want to do it the easy way? Gonna stop the stream for a minute. Which stream? The Twitch? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. How ca oh, wait, we should put this on Evolve. I'm on Evolve. So you're streaming on Evolve? Yeah, but it's also going to Twitch. Okay, cool. You should have the random match generator thing. Oh, wait, no one has a game. Never mind. <laughs> Random match generator. Or finder, match finder thing. I guess you have to actually know about the game to find it, though, so that defeats the purpose. Yeah, probably. Did you get that um, email address I pasted in there? Me? Oh, no, uh, Hector Sama. 
<laughs> Who are these people you're talking about? I don't, Hector. I don't even know them. <laughs> what? All of a sudden, did you get that? <laughs> did you get the email address I pasted. The who now, what now? I pasted the email address of the person you need to add. Mike at Disaster? I already added him. To the Hangout? Oh, to the Hangout? Yeah. Oh, he's on? Yeah. Is oh. that the Michael Staple guy? Nope. No, that's, that's Maxi Staple. is our composer. Yeah, I thought so. That's why I was getting confused. The room was like Mike, and I saw Michael Staple, and I was like, wait a minute, isn't he Maxi? That's a different Michael. Okay. Um, there's more than one Michael in the world. I know yeah. I have a cousin named Michael. <laughs> Okay. Tato. Oh my gosh. Oh hey, um so Hector. Yes, sir. Um be cool with me demoing this at Siege if I get that UI done? Yeah, sure. It's perfect. Um wait till Mike gets on so we can show him and show the world. The world. Cool. Oh, I just got myself. Cool, cool. The the only issue is there might not be internet, so so I looking mean, into that. I was gonna say you might not be able to play. Yeah, come on. There's gonna be offline version. You know how long it's gonna take to get the offline version working? <laughs> come on, man. Like two minutes. Two no. days, man. All you need, all you got is two days. All you need to do is program four sets of the same input. Just with different controllers. Oh crap! I wasn't even thinking about that. <laughs> Exclude and disabling the uh, network stuff. No nah, man, all you gotta do is you just use the um, that new Google platform, the the system they're making. You, you're just trying to make this game come out to fifteen, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you can just do that, man, because it streams to four different screens, you know. So we're, everybody's playing on a different screen, and it's all it's all you know that, local. Yeah, you know that one was a hoax, right? Oh, really? I thought that was real. Yeah, because Geosama didn't check the source. What? Uh, you know how excited I was? I was actually telling people about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, too excited. That's how you tell people. Telling people about what? That uh, proof of concept Google console. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was fake. Yeah, thank, thanks for that. I, I, said that I, I said that that day that it was fake <laughs> after a while. Uh, thanks, I was probably thanks sleeping. Obama. <laughs> Thanks, <Obama. laughs> hey, someone join and walk into this little room right here. Huh? It looks totally safe. <laughs> I have to look extract it, right? What? You should probably extract it. Just put it in a folder and then say extract here. Yeah, because somebody doesn't allow you to run it from Dropbox. Well, oh, screw I you. I do it though. all the time. How, how come you didn't build a uh, Dropbox version or a web player and then just give the link out for that? Producer. That was not a producer decision. <laughs> no, not a producer decision. He said he didn't get the invite. I just sent it to him. Wrong email. You forgot the S. So S. <laughs> Wait, there is S. There's two S's. Yeah, There's supposed to be answer. three. Well, I sent it to Mike Gale, which That's is him. Oh. It's the link that you put in the thing. I'll send another one, I guess. Uh, oh. <laughs> Better copy paste. Did you get it yet, Tifa? Do I go on Booyah? Yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm on Booyah. Booyah. How do I even? You, you move around and oh. you jump yeah. and hold shift. You can run. And if you hit your left click, it shoots. I don't have a mouse. You have a, key, the, a laptop. Whatever you do to select things and click on things, that button. Don't do it. <laughs> Alright, let me try sending it to him. Which button, yeah. him on as well. Which button does so? Yeah, I sent it to him. He knew. He's not on Hangout, he's not getting right? it. I don't know what those things. The left one on the touchpad. I'm yep. gonna collect all the things. What hey. button do you use to click on links in the internet? Wait, what was that? Oh, 
is that? Ledge hanging. Yeah, you're out of bounds. You're gonna die. Hey, you know if you did the Spider-Man thing twice, then we could be Attack on Titan. <laughs> Tifa's playing? Yeah, but I don't know how to shoot. Left click. I don't have a mouse. She Do I have a mouse? Uh, no. The touchpad, the trackpad thing. Oh, so wait. Like, what button do you use to click on links on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, voice recognition. That's a pretty tasty thing. It looks like banana cream pie. Let's go. Let's go. I'll give you guys a break. I don't want to go in there and kill everybody. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, snap. Well, I got muscle stuff. What is that? Mr. Gill. Double damage. Hey, how, much, how much room? We got room for one more? Uh, yeah, two people in here right no. now. Two people. Wait, so it's Sabrina and Curtis, Tiffany, and it's going to be Mike, right? Yeah. Two people. Uh, Newcomers get muted on default with the on-air one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This uh, sucks without a mouse. Yeah. <laughs> it's crap, crap, sucks. Mike, you're muted when you come in as after the fourth person. No, you are the fourth person. Get muted too. Oh, X split. I think he's almost there. What does that even mean? Where is that fruit coming from? Where is what coming from? It's, it's coming from the Oh. Dead. Hello? Hey! That little sound is me picking up this power up that spawns here. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Hey, Mike, how are you doing? No, I quit. Not it's, bad. It's nice to finally meet you. Um, my name's Hector. I'm the president here at Pixelix. And. Um, You've met Servillian already. He's our lead programmer. Yep. Yeah. And concept behind Tados. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have uh, Curtis, who's our lead tech artist. Maxi, which he probably disappeared, but he's our lead composer. Daniel is our lead. Everybody's leads here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Our lead um, UI programmer. And uh, Tifa. Whenever she stops slacking, she'll be our lead texture artist. You know what? You need to shut up. Hey, <laughs> <hi>. <laughs> nice um, to meet all of you. Nice to meet you too. And I was following your your Kickstarter. Tell us a little bit about Soul Saga. If you want, you can also show some screens or something from the game. Um, Soul Saga is a Japanese uh, RPG created by a white guy. That's that's how the general gist of it. <laughs> yeah, I just went to Japan, picked up some uh, some artists, and now I'm working with some different uh, 3D modelers trying to get the uh, trying to get everything together. It's I just woke up, so my my elevator pitch is a little weak. I'm actually <laughs> sleeping on Japan time. It's like 8 p.m. here. So yeah, I, I hear you. A while back, I was on India time working for a game company over there as a game designer. Yeah. So here, so um, telling you about a little bit about um, potato toss, which is cute animals bashing each other with weaponized pro produce. <laughs> That's pretty much the basic concept of it, and the character you're seeing now is Grayson. He's our little uh, sassy duck. Mm -hmm. Throw these grapes, and we have Tato too. If yep, there we go. Tato's a potato dog, and he came about. This game came about in Ludum There 27, mm -hmm. and or was it 28? I forget. But we, yeah, we did it over like 30 hours. We did the first prototype of the game, and. From there, we decided to continue on with the whole theme of animals throwing their produce as weapons, or throwdoos as we call them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you want to jump in, we, uh, Sir Billion will post a link in the chat for the Dropbox version of yeah, the game. Yeah, he's got the updated build now. Yep. Yep. Okay. Alpha. Nice. Set it up, so. 
Um, I can't figure out why it, I've, I've never used uh, Google Chat to stream before, so I uh, can't figure out why I can't stream my XSplit for you guys, but uh, I'll, I'll hop in. You can yes. use um, Twitch if you want. I like Twitch, how Twitch does it, because um, it comes out a lot clearer. Hmm. So, yeah, Just guys, we have... Uh, seen the game while streaming. <laughs> it was kind of like getting my end for that. We have Mike from DisasterCake.com. <laughs> and is it Disaster Cake Games or Disaster Cake LLC? Or just Disaster Cake? Uh, disaster Cake. Coolio, so... Um, you, you killed me. Yep, I killed you. Oh, he's already in the game? Let me jump in. Oh, that's a long real name. Kill people! <laughs> Was fruit. I was breaking your room string. Oh, okay, that's very nice of you. <laughs> that was him. That wasn't me. Merry Christmas. I saw someone standing there. So, he so you probably already know by now. WASD for movement. Um, shift for sprinting. Space bar for jump. And you can draw your throat as a left click. That's your fruit or vegetable. And then right click is this really cool hook shot. No man, Spider Man. No. Whoa, that's interesting. No cables. Interesting yep. hook shot. Yeah, oh, no stop paper. calling it Spider Man. We're going to have to pay royalties to Disney. <laughs> Spider Man. The nearby mm -hmm. object fully escape cable. On. Titan. Although, if there are two of them, we can do Attack on Titan. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Curtis is playing a game of hard knocks. Do so I should murder you instead? Here we go. <laughs> How'd you know that was me? Because you're Grayson, because you joined late. <laughs> Stop it. So is there four people in that game? It's three. It's three. three? She even gave up because she doesn't have a mouse. We'll play. Yeah, you guys mind if, uh, if I uh, throw my girlfriend the in here? Of, I don't take any more damage. Oh, someone's got the shield. Yep, he found the level. So Mike, tell us a little bit of how how the you know how the whole Kickstarter came about and how you came up with the with the concept and what you did before. Um, uh, it's kind of a long story. I'll give you like the nutshell version. But I uh, I grew up on a miniature horse farm in Michigan, and from there I uh, I had been kind of. Had been kind of studying outside or studying everything that I needed to know for game development because it's just kind of been my passion. And, and uh, I realized that I couldn't really hang around Michigan any longer working on a miniature horse farm if I really wanted to make that happen. So I kind of threw all my stuff in my car without any job lined up or any friends out in Seattle and drove out to Seattle just because I knew that this was like the video game capital of the U.S. So uh, and from there, I I got a I got a contracted job at Microsoft uh, pretty quick, and I, uh, I finished up my contract. I appreciated my time there, but uh, and the time that they gave me, but I really didn't uh, feel like that was what I wanted from the game industry. So I, you know, it wasn't what made me passionate about it. So I left. I uh, and uh, I would I lived off of uh, scholarships and student loans and my life savings while I I finished up my business degree and I uh, and was working on Soul Saga slowly uh, with every spare penny I could and every spare moment I had and eventually I, I came up with what you saw on the Kickstarter. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of the general life story. Well, you've definitely been an inspiration for us and if you can do it, we can do it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm Hopefully. Not. You can do it. All right, so you guys are taking this to Kickstarter. Um, we're we're considering it. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do at this point. I mean, we mm -hmm. we want to get a good alpha so people can check it out and give them a, a a basic demo of the game and you know let them decide for themselves. As well, we have to do a video and all the the stuff that comes with Kickstarter. But mm -hmm. it's it's a huge possibility, definitely. Cool. Can you guys hear me all right, or 
Yeah, yeah, it sounds perfect, actually. Cool. You probably yeah, the clearest out of all of us. Yeah. I picked up a new microphone, so yeah. I was like, I guess I'll splurge a little on a Blue Yeti microphone. Probably, I guess it's not even splurging that much. It's only like about $100, so... Oh, Mr. Moneybags over here. <laughs> <laughs> I, only $100. I think the last microphone I had was like an expensive, like microphone made by Microsoft but I got it on like you know half off because of while I was working there and uh, but then that thing broke on me in like you know a couple years so you do not do that. Yeah. I got my one nice little turtle beach headset that I think is the bomb <laughs> Curtis has a potato yeah Curtis has a potato mic oh man you gotta go steel series with the blue light we ain't even talking about you. <laughs> I'm six and oh. Your headphones at all speed to the music. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Dude. So what are some of the things that you have planned for to add in to like the next versions of the game? We are definitely adding in as a bunch of game modes, you know, standard stuff like capture the flag and Team Deathmatch. Uh, well, I shouldn't call it Deathmatch. Single player. Whatever you call it. Team Free for all. Team Throwdown. Uh, yeah, Team Throwdown. <laughs> and we're thinking of having a single player mode where you just go around and, and hit targets and do different things like that. Having a, mm. a type of horde mode where the throwdos get fed up with the, the aminals and they come and try to take you out so you have to knock out the, the little throwdos creatures and uh, we'll have mm. a juggernaut mode where we can't really reveal the animal that you're going to be trying to take out as a team. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, we could. It's It does whatever it wants. Is it a walrus? No. Badger! <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, it's a badger. Honey badger. Uh -huh. Honey badger. <laughs> I didn't even know that. And, and then, of uh, course, we also have a bunch of uh, what we call them aminals, not animals. Additional yeah, ones lined up. Well, thank you, Curtis. <laughs> we we have a lot Some of characters. Some of them built on the Facebook pages. Yeah. Um, we got all sorts of different characters. We we're gonna release them as we go, depending on whether our Kickstarter is successful or not. Regardless, we're gonna continue mm -hmm. making the game. Um, we we want to eventually allow players to create their own maps and import them into the game and upload them to a server for yeah. others to play and write. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, match oh. over. Is it over? Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, hey guys, uh, quick question. Yeah. Where did the new UI that I had almost done go? We deleted it. Um, no, like seriously, I think it's it's gone. Did you put it in that branch that you deleted? No, it was in the main dev branch. Uh, it should still be in there. Like, I don't see anything in there. So, uh, now I I do what? I exit the game? Mm -hmm. you can yeah, hit mouse. tab. You have to hit tab to the mouse get the mouse back and just go back. Oh, I see. Return to lobby. Okay. Yep. It's a little hacky right now. Oh, that makes We've sense. Been Focusing a lot of time on getting the network as good as possible, and getting a lot of animations. Which Randa did a really good job on the animation. She's not here with us right now, so right now we have yeah. about half the team. I, yeah, I was going to uh, turn the music down. You can hit two. Forgot to mention that. Oh, okay, I I, uh, I just used my Windows settings to to turn it down, but okay. Thank you. So, what are you going to say, Mike? I was going to say, uh, it looks very polished for, like, uh, how long have you guys been working on this? Um, on and off, probably a, since, like, May or June. Yeah. It's, cool. it's been very part-time-ish, like, as much time mm -hmm. as we can put in, because we all have day jobs working for <laughs> yeah. the way in. Well, it moves, moves very smoothly. Sir Billion is doing an uh, excellent job on it. Yep, it definitely is. Yeah. That's how I say it, right, Cerbillion? Mm-hmm. Yep. 
I think it's interesting spelling. Is that how it it's spelled in the uh, in World. yes, like S uh, S R yep. billion. S R capital B I L Y O N. Interesting. Unique name. Yeah. I don't even think Hector that was my real name, and I was talking to him for like what, almost a year. Uh-huh. Yeah, I didn't say anything because I don't know. In in this day and time, like people have all sorts of names, so like. Hi, mm. I mean, yeah, my parents weren't very creative. Hey, Mike is a they strong just... name. The <laughs> poser name's Mike, but he's not cool. And he left uh. Super not cool. <laughs> Yep. But yeah, Michael Staple, um, otherwise known as DJ Maxi, uh, mm-hmm. really good composer. Is that who did your music? Yep. Mm-hmm. The style that, um, well, the music he made before was with a previous style we we're going to engage in, but then we ended up uh, uh, wanting to change it to a more, uh, it's like an actiony jazz chiptoonish type of style. Yeah, I think it works well for like what this is. So he's gonna be uh, manifesting some masterpieces on that. Uh, there he is Sorry. right now. Yeah. So Plus you. you guys... Go ahead. Uh, are you guys gonna have a story mode? We're thinking about it right now. It's just uh, on a competition level. There's a few things that we have planned, but we're still it's on, it's still on the drawing board. So don't mm-hmm. want to go into that and make you know make Molly new promises. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. I felt like with Kickstarter, I had to make a lot of promises to get people's attention. Like, I was too kind of afraid to make a lot of promises, but I I had to go in and punch some numbers and get quotes from people. And even, like, getting on to, like, PlayStation Vita and stuff like that, like, that will probably be something that you get a lot of questions about or different platforms. Yeah. And you might want to check in with, like, the Sony rep and stuff. I wish I could like tell you numbers, but like you know, they make you sign an NDA and everything beforehand, so you're not actually allowed to tell anyone about prices or anything. But you might want to check into that stuff because it might might be within possibilities for you, at least for a stretch goal. Yeah, it's nice to know. Yeah, definitely. Like right now, we plan to do PC, Linux, Mac, mm-hmm. and Ouya, which are the easier platforms to get on. Yeah. Well, I. That's what I was uh, planning on doing too, and then I realized that I my my initial funding was kind of coming in a little bit slow, so I was like, all right, well, how do I, you know, I was like, so I guess I just talked and listened to people, and they, you know, they kept saying like, hey, you should get on, uh, you know, PlayStation or whatever like that, and it seemed kind of unreasonable to me because like in my eyes the the, the councils are have been the closed platform for so long, right? Right. Um, but you know, after talking with the devs and really, I, I came on just around the time where I guess they started to actually open up their their uh, councils to indies and they repriced their dev kits and stuff to more reasonable prices. Um, so and you don't need a publisher or anything like that. Oh, that's interesting. How come I was set? Was I set on fire? Is that oh, what that was? <laughs> that was yeah. from Curtis. You can also spread the fire around. Yeah, if you're you're on fire, you can just touch somebody else. Yeah, yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, maybe you guys want to. Uh, you might want to check into that. T- I wish I would have checked into that stuff first because the reps take so long to get back with you. Like you'll you'd want to be able to officially like be able to tell people that like beforehand and not risk the reps not getting back to you. Like I think I just messaged one and they haven't gotten back to me in like over a week. So, so and that's after I'm already working with them. So um. yeah, I mean, it'd be awesome if you you know give us the contacts or is that something you can find on the on their website? Uh, yeah, I, I think I can give you. It. I mean, it's just the public one that he like he gave me on like Twitter. So cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely contact them. I mean, it, it would work great on the Vita, considering that you can do the controls. There it is. And uh-huh. Yeah. Would... Just got to design it a little bit for, uh, for those for the controller controls. In mind. Yeah, with the controller in mind instead of a keyboard and mouse, I guess. But, yeah, yeah that's what I... I changed up Soul Saga's overall uh, control 
control scheme so that it would be easier to port it over to uh, hand or handhelds and uh, controller-based stuff. All right, yeah, we the, the game has partial game cap, game pad controls mm. implemented right now, so you can play it. The controls are inverted, unless you like playing inverted. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> Actually, I don't know what inverted is because in one game, in most games, inverted means when you press up, you look down, right? That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah exactly. I can't remember what game I saw before where it said inverted was the opposite of that. And I was like, wait, is that right? That might no. have actually been in... Maybe that was something I saw when I was at Microsoft, uh, an older game or something. can't remember. Yeah, just double-checking. Yeah, so we do we do have game support. We're just going through different controllers like PlayStation, Xbox, your Got standard to. PC controller, and and the even the Ouya controller, which is, and then they all have different input keys, and mm. and that's kind of interesting. But uh, so, yeah, definitely the Vita would be cool to have it on there. I would love to see it on the 3DS. I mean. It, the, the style fits on that. Unity doesn't support the 3DS right now. Yeah, I wish they did. It. But, uh, yeah. I'm After sure eventually they will. I would tell Probably them to play uh, Soul Saga on the 3DS if it was. It's like my favorite console right now. <laughs> yeah, it's mine too, but only because... Of, actually, you know, it's only because of the games that are on it. Because what, once I, get, I bought a 3DS and I was like, man, this looks like... Amaz like, you know, I was like, this is like amazing. Like, uh, why didn't I get this sooner? And then I got a Vita, and I was like, wow, this makes the 3DS like hardware like kind of look like plastic. It just look looks like cheap plastic. Like the the Vita is very like the the OLED screen and the and the shiny buttons and everything just look uh, just look excellent on it. Like for the the hardware itself, and I I like the overall operating system better. And it's you know it's actually like built like a like, you know, for the future of online, you know, gaming yeah. and stuff, whereas, like, the 3DS has very limited, weird, oddly limited, like, uh, online capability, but the, there's just almost no games for the Vita, and there's just a lot of amazing games exactly. for the 3DS, and I think that's mostly... A, Nintendo makes better games than Sony, and that's not including, you know, third-party developers, but... When it comes to like comparatively just Sony and Nintendo, Nintendo tends to like swamp their systems eventually with a lot of great content and games. You know, like the Zelda series and Mario series and Katamari, I believe, is made by Nintendo as well, unless it's made by a third party that I I don't recall. But uh, but yeah, they basically they just kind of they can make a lot of great games themselves and fill in their consoles without the the need of third party developers, you know, like Pokemon yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Speaking of Pokemon, but Sony's very dependent on them. Yeah, it's coming up pretty soon. Yeah, people are freaking out, including me, Vermillion me. and Maxi, and pretty much me. everybody. Should have took them to get out. it. Oh, well. Now we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> on that day, I already got the schedule for that day. I'm like, ah, four to nine. I have to get up super early then. <laughs> well, at least it'll be right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I pre-ordered at GameStop, so. Yeah. So, so tell us about your trip to Japan. How was that? Yeah, that was a surprise when I saw that post. Um, yeah, I mean that's. I didn't want to say anything at first because. Uh, I mean, I didn't want people thinking I like ran away and took their money to Japan, you know. Um, but <laughs> but so I uh, I was getting like kind <laughs> of desperate to uh, to find someone who could actually. Uh, the game was done, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I left it. So the I was getting desperate to find someone to really hit that like anime anime style, but uh, it's. I guess me and a lot of other anime fans get a little picky about the the subtle nuances in in like true Japanese anime compared to like when people try to mimic it who don't draw it often. Right. Um, so I was getting a little desperate to try to find someone, and so I was like, all right, well, I guess I'll go visit my friend Nozomi, 
um, in Japan, and I'll uh, I'll see you know, and then I'll uh, from there we'll we can work together to try to find some artists. Uh, she had worked with me a little bit before to find the uh, the Japanese composer, um, and so then. Uh, yeah, I went there and I was able to uh, to successfully acquire a couple artists to work with, and uh, so I'm pretty happy with what they've been coming up with. Now it's just a matter of trying to translate what they have to 3D, but I've not been able to find any 3D artists um, from Japan, unfortunately. But they'd probably be a lot more expensive than the type of people I'm hoping to afford. Yeah. But, but, yeah, but that's more like business. I, I guess like, my uh, the new concept for the main character a lot. Uh, yeah, I, I like them too. I know that the I think uh, I like more simple designs. I guess is kind of what I was hoping to go for with him, and that's how I kind of approached the artist and told her about that. I I wanted to do something that's you know kind of adventurous, but a little bit more simple because uh, I didn't even show her like her old design, but because uh, I was like, yeah, this looks really. The the old design was just kind of while it was pretty and and well done, it just looked very uh, it looked a little messy in its in its design, right? Like lots of lines everywhere. Like even the people who were drawing like the fan art were like, yeah, this has like a lot of crap in it <laughs> to draw. And so yeah. they they simplify it down themselves usually, and uh, so I know that it seems like a lot of gamers like to be kind of have complicated designs thrown at them, but I, I think like overall the characters become more likable and imitatable when you uh, when they have simpler designs. Yeah, yeah definitely. Design. Yeah. yeah, we're here we're all big fans of Miyazaki, so we tend to do that in our characters, mm -hmm. keep them as simple and iconic as possible and, and Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm like, seeing here. I'm a big yeah. Akira, uh, Toriyama Yep, that too. Um, a huge influence there as well. <laughs> Even down to our music, like those guys definitely have a big influence in our stuff. Me, Miyamoto, I mean, definitely have that going on right now. Um, but our Ratchet and Clank, Insomniac's another big influence in, in what we're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, so in Japan. Everyone's too polite. <laughs> too polite? Too polite yeah. to, like, not America? No. <laughs> hey, we get Americans it. Americans like to... Like, if I say something like... Uh, like, one of my artists, you know, we just sent her a message where I was kind of like, you know, or my, my letter to Nozomi, because I want Nozomi to translate stuff, because if I do it, it'll just be, like, really literal translations, and that's, like, rude and... Not only that, it'll sound like all broken, crappy Japanese anyway, she probably can't understand me, but, but, uh, so she, uh, I told her that, uh, I want her to be less shy with her designs, uh, because she's, I think she's, has, thinks that we have a certain image or style in mind for Soul Saga, but I kind of wanted to see some kind of crazy off the walls ideas she might have for some different characters, even if she thinks I won't, like, use them. And so I guess Nozomi says that I can't just say it like that, like, a, that's too rude. And so she turned, like, my one paragraph into, like, four paragraphs. <laughs> yeah, us Americans would like being direct and cutting to the chase. Where is the yeah. chase, and how do I cut to it? <laughs> yeah. And I, uh, I was able to stay with Nozomi's parents to cut down on, like, my, my cost there. I actually didn't uh, stay in a hotel for very long while I was there, so I... Uh, I got to save a lot of money that way, um, yeah. and uh, sh uh, while I was there, I felt like I was kind of walking on eggshells to make sure I didn't say anything too rude, you know, because with, like, my cynical humor, I didn't want to wanna insult them. <laughs> I think they thought I was funny because I wasn't very shy, like, they, like usually people when they visit other people's homes there, I guess, are, are really shy and, like like, quiet, but I don't know, I was just, like, there. <laughs> like, <laughs> there, around, and everywhere. Probably so, American in you. Yeah. I died on the way out, darn it. <laughs> Whoever that was, where I was hook-shotting and setting him a blaze, that was me. Yeah, that was, that was the lady on fire hitting you. So, I think what the, do you think of Tato Toss in its current state right now? 
I think this is good. Um, I think it's like it's it's obvious you guys put have a lot of talent on it, and that you're you're putting some love into it. I'd like to see more like weapon variety, like not just uh, necessarily what you pick up and it does, but like visual effects as well. Kind of like the I think that's what I like in first person shooters usually is like the variety and kind of, it would also be kind of cool to see like what you're carrying maybe. Oh okay. Yeah. I think it's like a like an amazing uh, start though. Thanks. You can be brutally honest, but thanks. <laughs> no, 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 I mean that's why I'm just uh, but oh. now I'm stuck. Oh, yeah, uh, we we did a lot of this with Blender yeah. and GIMP and stuff. We we mm. see the the way I want to do it is you know it might be a pain in the butt to have some people who are used to using Max or Maya and right. Photoshop and stuff like that get get to get to know this stuff. Um, but in the end, the way I see it is, you know, I rather donate money to these amazing open source software groups and mm -hmm. pay my guys more when the when we actually have the money, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mike, you might want to switch to um, some other room. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you tried the mm -hmm. city level yet. Yeah, that's what the. Uh, there he is. There I am. Yeah, so that, that's how we, we want to do it. I, Randa, she had to learn, like, she was really eager to learn how to do animations in Blender, and she felt like it was it was a lot easier. She was really scared, because in Maya, if you mess something up, it's broken, and, and your life is ruined forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and Blender is really non-destructive, so uh, much to the chagrin of some people in our team. Oh. But, um... Blender. I don't know. I think it's just made sometimes. I use 3DX, yeah. 3DS Max. Don't tell works. me what I want. It don't yeah, know what I want. Could mm. go back. Well, that's the that's the first success story I've heard of Blender because usually people are complaining about it that I always read them. I mean, I guess since I haven't done anything any of the crazy stuff or rendering and whatnot, I mm. wouldn't you know fall into those problems that you know other Blender gotcha. attempts have. Uh, so it's just because you're kind of doing the more simple like F FBX enabled type of stuff. Yeah. Well, Blender actually works seamlessly with with Unity. I mean, you can if you're good about keeping your file separate, you can just dump the blend file, and then what what's good about that is that you can go back in the blend file that's in the Unity folder, open it, do edits, and save it, and it'll automatically adjust in Unity as once more. Hmm. So that, that's a good way to go about it. Honestly, if you're looking for someone to help you with the Blender stuff, just let me know. I can point you in the right direction or whatever 3D software that you're using. Sure. Uh, well, I... Personally, just uh, just uses 3D software to like open up and look at models once in a while. Like I I don't even like I just open up the FBX file. I look at like the mesh flow. I was like editing models before, but I you know I have no artistic talent, so I uh, I try to stay away from that um, unless I, I have to do something on a technical end and I have to to maybe split meshes up or something like that for some reason. Or, but uh, like I was doing that when I was trying to work with character customization. Um, but uh. Oh, oh. Yeah, I try not to do my hands too dirty on the artwork side. Yeah, yeah, but if you want, just talk to me later, and I, I can point you in the okay. right direction. Thank you. Because, I mean, I like what you have with Soul Saga, and it does deserve good modeling and texturing and, and all that. And honestly, with the artwork and the concept art that you have, it, it would be really simple to match that style. Yeah. With people who know... You know, right? Some people say it's easy to match it, but it, it ends up being a little hard. I'm going to restart my game in like full screen mode just because uh, tabbing back it makes the, the mouse a little a little silly. Yeah. yeah. But this is really I I honestly think that this is uh. It's very well polished for like a, a hobby project done, and you said it has just been worked on for like a few months now. Is that what you said? 
Yeah, I mean, really, really, if you accumulate the whole all the time we spent, it comes to about right. two months. But we've been at yeah. it for a few months now since May, just part yeah. time. Yeah, the original yeah. concept was made in like a day and a half. Yeah, and then we were like, okay, so, cool. And then we came back to it, kind of left it, and then over like the last month and a half or so, that's where most of this progress has came from. Yeah, uh, and so is this. What, who's your target audience? Like, if you had to, like, sum up who your target audience is? Um, well, our target audience, I wanted it to be, you know, a lot of families that they're... It's going to be... If I don't like saying E to everyone because that's just... Uh -huh. But I do want to focus on families who, you know, the kids want to play what daddy's playing. So daddy's probably playing Call of Duty, but he probably shouldn't be playing it in front of his kid. Mm -hmm. So this is... I wanted this to be the kind of game where you, the whole family can get together and something, and everybody can get something out of it. You know, kind of, uh -huh. kind of how Disney does it with their movies. You you have little jokes in there that the parents will get, so they're not like freaking bored out of their mind watching a simple animation. Gotcha. So you know, yeah. and, and battle from fast. <laughs> that was what was still, that? You know, I was wanting something a bit com combative and fast, and just something that you feel like you can play over and over again and still have an enjoyable experience. Hmm. Like I was thinking, even though it's like an entirely different genre, like Smash Brothers. Yeah. I just like how you can always kind of come back to it and still enjoy it, and as well as like turning the game into like an actual competitive type of game, tournament yeah. style, I guess you could say. That's another thing. If we actually get streamed on Evo, that we that'd be awesome. <laughs> I second that motion. <laughs> MLG Pro all the way. Yeah. But once, that, that, that you know, our right. audience is definitely, you know, family <laughs> friendly. Everyone could get to it. Mm -hmm. And and just, you know, generally everybody should be able to get something out of it. Yeah. Gotcha. Um I this... guess the best description um somebody gave us was a uh, bleeding heart and she did our first uh, stream with us. She she does gaming news for a game blog and her description was that, that it was competitive but not threatening uh -huh. so anybody can jump in and not feel like oh my gosh what do I do uh -huh. so accessibility is like one of the main things I'm, I'm really big on simple controls learn you know easy to learn maybe difficult to, to master mm -hmm. so that's where we're at with that yeah, because just seeing you know, all three of us play, I can't even tell the difference between uh, you and Curtis right now. I feel like you, you know, probably stomped on the controls pretty fast. I was just testing something, and you don't get points for killing somebody with fire. Mm. You don't get points for doing what now? Killing somebody with fire. So if, they die, if you let them on fire and they die afterwards, you don't get a point for it. Hmm. Oh, let me see. Uh, I probably didn't check that. I don't think I sent, sent the owner to Fireball, so that's probably why. So I want my kills. Yeah, FYI, network. So, for network example, would you play this game crazy. with your parents, Mike? Would I play it with my parents? Yeah. Maybe. They don't <laughs> play games, so it's, uh, it's hard to say. Yeah. That's, and that, you know, and my mom doesn't play video games, and... and I showed her the game and had her play it with me, and she was able to grasp it mm -hmm. without much effort. Mm -hmm. That's well. I I think that while my parents might be able to like grasp it and kind of run around, I think they'd still get like bullied easily in a game like this. You know, like not bullied, <laughs> like people were actually picking on them. But I, I don't think they'd be able to like kill anyone. You know what I mean? Like oh, for ruffle stomped. Yeah, for their skill level. Um, I don't, they can barely, like, they, there's no way they could use, it would either have to be, like, only keyboard or, like, only mouse, like, controls or something like that to, you know, something where it's, like, a little, a little e less easy, or, I mean, a little more easy, I guess, because if you have to, like, move the camera around for someone like them because they don't have, uh, okay. uh, they just don't have the motor skills of, uh, you know, the average gamer. Yeah, someone can do that machine gun mode. I keep forgetting how it 
the game begins to feel a little more fun when you have the uh, sound effects on. <laughs> I had it muted for like a good bit and I just turned the sound back on. Yeah, audio does make a huge difference in the mood of a game and Maxi has done a great job in making sure that the game feels pa fast paced and but not like overly oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh kind of feeling. Not overly dramatic. Yeah. Really. So it'll be the seconds kick in. Yeah, so it'll just be fun, easy to listen to and everybody will enjoy it while playing the game. That's what mm -hmm. I want to achieve. Hmm. Oh, that almost hit me. Which, you're lucky you got Ivy Tran, but it's okay, we got Maxi. Ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, wait, so Maxi does the music? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think Ivy is picking up any more projects right now. She's really no, she's, busy. She, I'm sure she is, all these Kickstarter indie games that she's been involved with. Yeah. Uh, well, we would have... She's pretty much like on a contributor status for my game, but yeah. I understand the fact that she's working on a bunch of big ones right now. She said she's revealing another one she's working on in like November. Uh, another game or something else? She said it's a big surprise. Mm. A big surprise. Yeah. yeah. I hope it's more Soul Saga songs. <laughs> yeah. I think I talked to her a couple weeks ago. It's like, yeah, I'm just working on these projects. I got a really big one coming out soon, uh, and expect some cool no news around November. Hmm. She's starting a band. I don't know who that was. Now I won't be able to sleep until I know. <laughs> well, you just got up. Yeah, I try to decipher all her. Status is now. What is this about? What is this about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So I almost want to start thinking of new uh, power-ups and gimmicks now. I feel like that. That if there is going to be, hey, I feel like it. with Sorry, more power-ups uh, and gimmicks, you could have that. Uh, it'd be a lot. It feel like it's filled out a lot more. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Thonit, thanks for jumping on. I, yeah, this is made in Unity. Sorry, I didn't see your comment there. Hmm. YouTube. So is this is this using just the the basic Unity's like uh, networking? I'm Secret actually, sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I'm well, just that. joking. <laughs> I'm using Fulton, Fulton server or Fulton cloud. Hmm. At first, I was going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to use Unity GUI because it's dumb. And then once I start using Fulton, I realize there's a lot of similarities in it. It's just that mm -hmm. you have to start considering your own server and all that stuff. But honestly, I think if I were to try to touch Unity GUI, or not Unity GUI, oh, mm -hmm. Unity uh, networking now it probably wouldn't be as bad. But mm -hmm. Unity yeah, Cloud, I see the convenience of having a server up and running already. Yeah, I heard Unity Unity's basic networking is is very poorly documented and kind of hard to get up. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so I mean, I've never I've never messed with it. I really wanted to mess with it to to see if I could get something going, but it, it seemed a little too out of the scope of the project I was I'm working on. So. Yeah. I mean, most but of the, the stuff I learned from um, you know coding networking wise wasn't even all from Fulton. Because I first started, I'm like. Uh, they don't even really give you anything in this documentation. The form takes forever mm -hmm. to give you answers. But after I started uh -huh. just reading up a lot on how a lot of games are networked, especially yeah. specifically since I looked into more like FPS games, uh -huh. which is something I thought I would never do in my life. Yeah. And, um, I started learning a lot about tricks and you know how certain things are done. Cause a yeah. lot of the things in networking of in this build in particular, I've redid probably like two or three times. Mm. And that's what I was finally able to get it to run this smooth. Is but like you really have to sit down, pencil and paper, and just think about what needs to be transmitted, who needs to have control of what, and stuff like that. And then mm. from there, it's a lot easier to come back to it. Hmm. That's a very nice table. Thank you. Hmm. Is she coming in on a table in the game? I don't know. <laughs> 
Was that? Was that Tifa? I have no idea. <laughs> I just heard it's a very nice table. Yeah. Oh, it's Tifa. Yeah, I know she got a nice table today. It's not even cool. Uh, what is this purple thing that I keep picking up? Um, that was me being lazy. I think it's a pulse. Actually, let me check real quick. I think it's supposed to be poison. Oh, it's a speed shot. Speed <laughs> shot? All you need for speed shot is infinite ammo. Or you can uh -huh. snipe off the roof with a rocket. Oh, I was wondering why I got hit from above. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to have a bunch of power ups. One, one that I hope gets implemented is a gravity. Mine and you you don't you you don't throw it very far, but it lays on the floor and then somebody comes close and it creates a gravity well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think cool things like that would be uh, would be yeah. really interesting. It's all about thinking of resources and how we're gonna stream all this stuff over the net before it like lags everybody out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now it probably won't be as bad. I just have to. Figure out the actual mechanic side off network for the gravity thing, and then once I do that, all I have to do is sync it. It's a lot easier now that I have the infrastructure set up, you know, in a really optimized manner, and I know where everything is now. Hmm. And plus, since I went from knowing nothing about network coding until knowing something over the last yeah. year or so, we've all become non noobs in yeah. the span of because we've been we've been doing stuff on and on on and off like. For about a year now. Yep. Hmm. Yep. So we we've we've done small little projects, and the, one of the ultimate goals is everything that we're learning now, like with Tato Toss and another game. After we get the main version of Tato Toss done, we're gonna start on a, another project, and everything we've been learning is to be able to take us to Roll Mouse. Mm -hmm. which is one of our other games, which is a multiplayer game where you're all play as mice and you, you, everybody can fit in a different role. So think something Monster Hunter, like procedurally generated and different dungeon story mode kind of stuff and platformer. Well, some stuff will be procedurally, but not all of it. Some of it will be missions and stuff. It would be very interesting to see. Yeah, some Maxi's some of Maxi's best music is in that in that game. Hmm. And he ends up doing music for Tato Toss and we're like, well that sounds more Roma, so we're still in it for that. <laughs> I thought that was three D adventure framework. <laughs> that too. He does stuff for Roma that ends up being in there too. Uh, oh, he just revealed one of our other projects. Oh, uh, yay! <laughs> uh, 3D Adventure Framework is going to be a Unity Asset Store um, adventure kit, so you can create your own 3D platformers, like mm. Zelda-style, Ratchet & Clank, stuff like that. Uh. So it it's, I'd say, about 80% done. We have, just have to do some basic AI stuff and mm. and clean up the code and do, so, and do a demo of it and document everything. Yeah, I hear that some Unity asset stuff sells very well, especially for like beginners to Unity because they like to kind of crack it open and see how stuff is working. Yeah, and that and that's and that's what we wanted to do. Like, we're setting it up in a way where an artist could jump in and just swap out assets and do mm -hmm. some minor like scripting for events and stuff, and then they can have their own game and they can use it as a portfolio piece, or somebody can go in and completely gut it and just have a you know, have a starting point, so they don't have to do mm -hmm. all this nonsense preparing stuff. Mm -hmm. So they'll have all the basic code there, and it, and it, and that's what we're definitely shooting for that. And that should be released hopefully in the next few months. So we'll definitely send you a copy of it so you can play around with it. Sure. Oh, I just realized I don't even in a match. Yeah, you don't even in a match. Bye, Tifa. Bye, Tifa. Tifa's going good night. Alright, later, Tifa. Go enjoy your nice table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll be able to play 
Actually, <laughs> let me see. Give me a, a second. How many people are in the game right now? Three. All right. Um, Thonit, since I know him from school. I know him too. Well, uh, where's Thonit? Thonit. Give me the Dropbox link. Oh, I joined the game in the last ten seconds. <laughs> yeah, so, I, join, um, I would join too, but I have to go because I have work in the morning. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It's Mr. Kill. Mm-hmm. Is there anything in the game in particular you'd want to see? Hmm. Um, I think I'd like to be able to see like my weapon swap out similar to like how first person shooters do them. I think that's sort of uh, the appeal to those types of games where you can actually visually see your character change as you're swapping out uh, different weapons and stuff like that. Um, I think I'd like to see more variety in like the missile types that you throw out. Like uh, just the vis- the visuals and on the uh, variety in general. Kind of, like, kind of like you were saying, like you have some more interesting gimmicky things like a gravity well and things like that or maybe there's some type of like mines or something like that that uh, can like can blow up. Um, I, I think other than like weapons a variety like that um, I, I can't maybe if you can throw in another character or two before your Kickstarter so you can show that there's like some variety in like your character choices might be oh, cool. We got plenty of characters already modeled and animated. It's just we're being kind of mm. shy about releasing them. Maybe like because mm. we want to have be able to have content to show during our Kickstarter. You know, we don't right. want to like throw all this stuff and then when we get to Kickstarter, it's all stale. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. Um. Oh, I wanted to ask you if if you wanted to do cross promotion of. Your game into ours and have a a character from your game in here. Hmm. Anything else? Maybe. I mean, Maybe. it it would it would be in our style, but it would take cues from your designs. Hmm. Well, sure. Look, let me. Can I have some time to think about it? Or do I have to answer now? No, no, you don't have to answer now. You, <laughs> okay. you have plenty of time to think about it. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh. Just a lot of like legal issues with stuff like usually with like cross promotions like that and and stuff. So let me uh, get back with me a little later on about it. All right. Okay. I'm inside of a house. <laughs> yeah, this is oh, gonna be a cafe. <laughs> I forgot about that place. Yeah, you can't jump in here. You broke it again. Oh, I don't think I ever fixed it. Yeah. What games do you think? Another thing in Kickstarter is that uh, you, if you don't kind of have a list of very nostalgic games that you, you're saying that you're pulling influence from, you usually don't do very well. Like, it's more of a nostalgia mine than, yeah. uh, than most other than, you know, if you, if you come in, you're like, we have this brand new concept, uh, usually... It doesn't do very well, but if, when people go there, like with Soul Saga, I specifically pulled out like some of my favorite JRPGs that I did feel influenced. Even though like basically every JRPG I ever played influenced it, you know, I had to pick a few that I felt would uh, would market well. Right. If, what game? So if you could pick a game from like history that this closely relates to, like which which one would you pick? When I first thought the, the idea of one of the older builds, which I can probably send that to you a little bit later on, I was thinking mm. Bomberman. Yeah, Bomberman. definitely Bomberman's an influence. Um, Mario Party. That's a, Yeah, that's another big one. And Mario Party sounds, yeah, sounds about right. Bomberman is usually from the top down, though, right? Right, that's what yeah, one of our older there, builds are. There's, made, there's like. some other, like, Bomberman. Like, there was Bomberman 64. Hmm. <laughs> And it had a multiplayer that was chaotic, and it was really fun, and it was in 3D, kind of... Mm. It was a, a little bit third-person, like, orthographic view. Mm. And that one's another big influence. And Quake is another big influence on this game. <laughs> as far as the speed's concerned, yeah. Yep. Unreal. Be, 
mentioning Mario Party, that might be something cool as if you had, uh, yeah, like you were saying, like different, I guess you said you are going to add different game types, so I guess if they're kind yeah. of more like mini, mini games with different types of goals other than just kill each other, right? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, another big influence of this is definitely from Servillion is um, Ape Escape. Oh, yeah, Pumped and Primed. That is one of my biggest influence on this one. I don't even know why I didn't think of it now. Mm, but, um, I don't. It, what is it, that? It's basically uh, they merge together. It's actually hard to say what they merge together. It feels like a Mario Party, but with Ape Escape. And uh-huh. it's, like, it's an arena-oriented game. There's a bunch of different modes in it. Uh, there's like a basic arena mode where you use typical Ape Escape gadgets. Uh. Um, or have you played any of the Ape Escape games before? I seem to remember playing Ape Escape on like PlayStation 1 a very long time ago, but I don't really remember what it was like. I think yeah. you you had to capture monkeys or something. Yeah, and you would get a bunch of different gadgets like a stunt club, uh, a little helicopter thing, mm. uh, RC car, and a couple other weapons I can't think of. But they basically took that and made it like a multiplayer arena game where you can either have an arena set up, like a marathon set up, where you pretty much have to keep going on the map until you reach the end. Mm. Uh, and then there's also some boss modes where you could team up and you know defeat whoever the boss is. Mm. I would say this this closely resembles like Team Fortress 2. And, uh, that is an, yeah, that is another major influence, especially when we get some of the other characters in and, and mm. their size variations and stuff like that. Mm. Um, what else? I was thinking. So, oh, Power Stone is another influence too. Having a lot of environmental stuff happen. Yeah. Like for example, in that level, if you go out of bounds, there'll be cars driving by and they can hit you and knock you out. Hmm. Yeah, that's just stuff that we have to uh, start incorporating to get the assets done. Yeah. But uh, having a lot of environmental things in the stages is something we want, really want to incorporate. It's just we haven't completely got it got to that yet. And you, and just in Smash Brothers, another influence. I mean, we got a lot of these competitive games in their in their influences in there. Um, we want to have a lot of different modes. Like another mode we're thinking of, or it's going to be done is a we're calling it the hardcore parkour mode. And it's just a race mode, so you'll run across levels, and you can use your shooting and other abilities, but you it's about racing and getting to the end of a level. Hmm. Interesting. So there'll be a lot there, but it's going to be a matter of finances and time for us to implement all this stuff in there, mm. with any polish and success. Like a lot of a lot of the stuff that you're saying, like you want to see the weapons and different mm. look to the how the attacks happen. That's definitely going to happen, and it's going to be in the polish phase. Right now, okay. we're focusing on getting all the gameplay elements, basic gameplay elements, making sure it's polished and. And it doesn't like crap out on you when you're playing it. So once we get all bugs worked out and and all that, we'll start really pushing hard on the art. Like everybody's gonna be on art duty unless there's like some codes and stuff. Yeah. Well, that's uh, probably the best way to go about doing that. Yeah. yeah at this point, as far as mechanic wise, I feel pretty confident that uh, most of the primary stuff's in here now, uh, where I can start trying to venture out to some of the other stuff we were talking about. Mm-hmm. You know, environmental stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's cool that you all can kind of like get on this and like play it together and communicate. Like, yeah. Odd story. I actually don't think I've been on. I think other than Ivy, which I only talked with her during like my live stream one time, uh, and Nozomi. Um, other than those two, I don't talk with anyone like over, like voice chat or anything like that, or or see them in person or anything. That's you know um, that's kind of a shame. I mean, we all work remotely, and it's mm. communication is very important to a team, so things don't fall mm-hmm. through the cracks. Yep. Well, you get used to it. I mean, at first it was a little daunting, but uh, once once you learn how to communicate uh, more I guess thoroughly like I get try to get your message across through emails or just Skype and stuff like that like uh, I'll use Skype chat like live chat is something that I use often with different people but uh, 
most of the time it's just simply through uh, through emails. But you you learn to try to cover your bases with your emails, and the emails also are a good way to leave paper trail, like actual like. Because I mean, sure, you can leave a paper trail through your chat, but usually it's like in so many small little pieces, like put everywhere that it uh, it's hard to to keep track of it all unless you're writing up your own like document on it. And it's hard to go back and quote it. Whereas right. with like an email, it's it's almost like the document itself, right? Right. So as long as you 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 write it all out through it, but it takes some like practice to to make sure you do that. Because sometimes I end up sending like three or four emails in a row where I'm like, oh crap, I forgot to say this. Oh crap, I forgot to say this. <laughs> Someone's noping all over the place. Yeah, I'm just flinging it all around. Cause you almost did. Quick um, trivia, exclusive trivia. The uh, nope cable came uh, actually was manifested thanks to a glitch that I was having. The run, uh, really? I was trying to incorporate like a little spot dodging type of thing, mm. and I end up creating what I call the Sanic glitch. Mm. Uh, <laughs> a spoof of um, the gotta go fast meme for Sonic. Mm. And basically, every time I would click the right click button, I would just jet off wherever, mm. usually where the mouse is pointed. And so I slowed it down and had the idea of making this grappling hook. And after a couple hours, ta-da! Hmm. Yeah, sometimes some of the uh, best game dies game design ideas are accidents. Yeah, definitely. The guy who uh, Peter Mal knew when he created Populous. I mean, that guy sucks now, but back when he was like creating like really innovative, <laughs> cool, cool things, he uh, Populous was an accident where he was just he basically admitted like in an interview like he was like, yeah, I was like a I was a shitty programmer, and I, I couldn't figure out how to automatically make the ground alter, you know, and and level out when you wanted to build a building there. I wanted to do that, but it wouldn't work. You know, it's kind of like how Warcraft does it when you build something that kind of flattens out the land around you. Yeah. And he couldn't figure out how to do that, so then he just made it so that you had to manually go in and, and push the ground around, and then he realized that he was getting this feeling where he was kind of like a god shaping the the earth and then that's when he started just he turned it into you are a god shaping the earth and you and then you create like you know volcanoes and tornadoes and stuff like that so good game ideas are sometimes accidents this level is a little more colorful yes this level has color yeah and it actually has music. Over, I was like oh okay and the other level is still in development yeah I wouldn't. Don't know if I'd show that other level during Kickstarter, but no, 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 no we won't. Yeah, we and won't. by the time the Kickstarter, we'll be done with that level. Oh, okay. Well, then that's good. Yeah, we even have the music for it already, and <clears throat> Maxi works really fast. Something that people like to see it. What I and it's something I think I did wrong with my Kickstarter was I made everything look like it was like my game was done and I think I actually saw some comments about that they're like so his game's done right so what and I think that's because I didn't show any like work in process stuff and make it look like it was something that was being worked on I just kind of showed what I had and presented it in the most polished way possible I thought that would be a good way to do it but I learned that that's actually not a very good way to do it because people like to see the art process and they like to see yeah. things like you know your mesh you know your models being kind of like worked on like even if they're already done, um, and I didn't show that type of stuff, and that might be a good idea to show like the the workflow flow process, so it looks for you guys, so it looks a bit more like an actual uh, a work in progress, you know? Yeah, instead we, of saying like this is it. We've been posting work in progress little by little. As as we have more content, we're gonna start like mm -hmm. releasing PR packets of different things that we want to show mm -hmm. off without like giving you know. Like I said before, I don't want things to get stale when when we get to the Kickstarter. No, uh, yeah, makes sense. Um, oh, Michael went away, so bye, Michael. Thanks for everything. <laughs> You'll see it in the video. Catch us on the flip side. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, we one of our friends on it. It's our it's our tip. I believe is his last name, and he works for Sucker Punch. He was checking out. Oh, cool. Sucker Punch, is that the movie? Yeah. No, the, the company. Uh, oh, okay. I don't they know. Did, uh, yeah, what was it? Check, like the first two or three uh, Sly Coopers. Oh, it, right. Is it Sucker That's... Punch? 
is it Sucker Punch Thonet? I forget. Sorry, I Thonet. It's punch. I don't know. It sounds familiar. It's for Sly Cooper, but I never really played Sly Cooper, so the biggest like platformer game I kind of played was like Spyro the Dragon. I, I didn't play Sly Cooper until like a year ago. Um, mm -hmm. I played Sly 2 first and loved it and played Sly 3. Really liked it. I played Sly 1 and wish I would have played that first because I didn't like it. Um, still haven't played Sly 4 yet, but it's a really nice blend of like a um, platformer but mixed in with like an adventure um, s stealth kind of game. Mm -hmm. I think the characters and just the overall theme and um, scenario of the game makes it really nice. Especially since you stay in an air for like an area for a really long time, but since you have a bunch of different objectives, it doesn't really feel like you're just walking around doing nothing uh -huh. in this one big city. Because there's like probably like four or five big maps in the entire game, but there's so many different areas where you do so many different things that it, you know, it doesn't get boring. Mm -hmm. And then the AI is a little bit too good, in the sense that uh, half the enemies can just track you down from way on one side mm -hmm. of the map. Mm -hmm. But I still like it. I would like to play the fourth one soon. Can't even tell who's who anymore. Well, that was probably Curtis who shot me. <laughs> well, I don't know who you are now. You're there. It's a spot over there. I'm just saying it across. Oh, yeah. Um, one of the things we do, and I'm going to show this off to you. You'll be able to see it on my screen. It, uh, mm -hmm. Our viewers won't be able to see it, but this is what we use to manage. We use Trello. Mm -hmm. dot com, and it's like um, the Japanese have this system, and it's similar to that. I forget what it's called. Caban. Caban, yeah. And you have these cards, and you you set up all the tasks that need to be done, and everybody can comment and take the tasks, move them around. So that's what mm -hmm. we have right now. It's like. You can see some of the concept art here from one of our artists, Megan Lawson. She does a lot of the prop concepts. Hmm. What's this site called? Trello.com. It's a great way for everybody to keep in communication and, and track everything you're doing. And you cool. can also connect to it with your Google account. Yeah. And they have a nice little mobile app. <laughs> hmm. Someone died while they were... So that's that's what we're doing that way. You can see all the progress that we're doing, evaluations and stuff. And here's like oh. a, a little concept of the throw, no, gravity throws that I was like getting across. Hmm. Yeah, that's cool. That that's something useful for you guys since you guys communicate so so tightly. Yeah, and I think it would, I mean, you could, I don't know, I'm not telling you what to do, but you should look into it because that way everybody can, you can keep tracking, you set deadlines, you can, they can mm -hmm. post screenshots of their work in progress, uh, and you can comment on stuff and, like, do mm -hmm. paint over, so, well, this is what I want, and have them all log in. Interesting. It's also a calendar mode, which I don't think Geo's activated on this Trello yet. Brr, 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 brr. Is there a reason, <laughs> is there a reason why, like, email isn't, like, good enough for that, or, like, uh -huh. is there... We start losing track of emails. It started getting into a giant mess of a giant huge thread, and it was just like, you know what? It's it's really hard to keep up with. And usually it was just like a, a like three replies of like, okay, yes, that looks great. And yeah, we, sometimes that I get that. <laughs> and, and we started to, with this, you can even have like, they call them power-ups, and you can vote on things or, like, thumb it up, basically. And, it, you know, because sometimes you don't have anything to say. It looks good, it looks good, and you just, you know, okay. Right. And and you can assign things. Like, you put somebody on a task. So right here, like, you can see that I have myself, um, Megan Lawson, Randa, and Serbillion on some of the map stuff. And you know you can add. I'm gonna add Curtis right now. So, and you have so, labels. Is it an expensive service? Nope, it's free. Oh really? No. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I I'm really cheap when it comes to using <laughs> for to the tools. I, like I said, I want to make sure that once we you know we get viable, we start making money. I want to make sure <laughs> that my guys are taken care of. Right. Well, that's. 
a good mentality to have is not to spend money on like silly tools like that. I see a lot of people. I, think I was talking with one guy. I'll leave him nameless, but someone I was talking with on uh, who did a Kickstarter campaign, and <clears throat> he ended up spending like thousands of dollars on like some type of game design tool to help like that. To, to work with a couple different people on his team where they wanted to like kind of show like the maps and stuff like that I I don't know I was like why would you spend like thousands of dollars of your Kickstarter campaign you know when you only made about you know sixty thousand dollars you know why would you spend that on on a, on a tool that's unnecessary so I mean it's it's good that it's good project management not to waste that that budget on unnecessary tools just because they're kind of flashy or make things a little easier you know Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it, it's just, it's silly nonsense. I mean, you, there are some tools that are irreplaceable. Like, I cannot find a good replacement for Flash. Right, well, I mean, yeah, that, there's no replacement for Flash that I know of. Yeah. I, personally, much, I, I can't, like, use GIMP, so, I mean, I'm cool with, like, well, now that it's actually, like, uh, I mean, Adobe stuff is affordable now that it's only like if, if I think it's only like twenty dollars a month or something if you only want like one of their tools. But like if you want every single one of their tools, you only have to spend like fifty bucks a month. So yeah, I mean it's pretty darn affordable. It's more affordable than it was before at least. So now you don't have to throw down thousands of dollars. You can spend a minimal amount of money. Yeah, uh, and you can it. cut it off whenever you need. Although it's a year yeah. contract, so you have to stick to it for a year. Right, but uh. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's not so bad, right? But yeah, no, that's. It's too. Um, one of our artists, she, uh, Megan Lawson, she pays for her own license, so she's the only one who's allowed to use Photoshop and stuff because uh. she's paying for her own thing. Um, and she's used, you know, she's paid for it before because she figured, well, I need to get better at it, so I'm gonna invest in myself. Right. Uh, it's a yeah. It's a pretty inexpensive uh, investment. So. Yeah. I've been thinking of using um, Teams. They have uh, Creative Cloud Teams, but I'm still looking into it because some of the licensing and agreement yeah. terms to it don't make any sense. And I'm like, um, I'm going to keep studying this until I make a final decision. Yeah, I don't know if it would actually uh, be too helpful. I'm not sure. It yeah, is, no. see, I, I don't know if it's something that's good for remote uh Remote teams because like you that people would have to install them and you'd give them the CD key. I don't know if you can like retract CD keys from people or it's all managed online and everybody would have mm -hmm. to sign up. With, I would send them an invite to my license, my team mm -hmm. license through our company or you know our company emails. So everybody mm -hmm. has a company email that they have to use mm -hmm. for things like that. So that's how that would work. It's it's pretty simple on the setup. It's just how many licenses and and how many and so calls. then you can you can retract that yeah invite. Like, yeah you can you can take it away like okay well this person isn't working here anymore I'm gonna take that away <laughs> gotcha interesting yeah I guess if it's that easy to kind of yeah. set it up that sounds pretty pretty sweet yeah and it was like sixty nine ninety nine but I don't know how many they're not very clear on how many people you can have on that plan. Like, is mm. it five? Is it ten? I mean, mm. honestly, I only need it for maybe three, four people. Gotcha. But I don't know exactly. They're not very clear on how many you can have on that team license. <clears throat> so what did you... Do you have, like, an idea of how you want the uh, Kickstarter money, like, what you want it to go into, like a budget plan all set up? I don't have a clear budget plan right now because, like I said, we are not really spending a lot of money on gotcha. on tools. And part, most of it would actually be into paying everybody to kind of work on it a bit more of their time instead of, you know, having them, like, weekends and, like, a few hours at night and stuff like that. Right, so they can actually try to fit it into work hours instead of yeah. only on pure free time. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. That that's where it would go. I mean, I don't know how people would feel about about that. Like, most of it would go into paying. Uh, I know it's like I know it's like no. there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes when I when I see people get the most 
out of the Kickstarter, or at least, at least the better, like, like response is usually when they say, like, I'm going to do this for free and I need this money for tools or to hire other people out or something like that. But they seem to be more touched when they see that the team themselves wants to do it, wants to kind of work for free, you know, which I think you guys do, but you guys want to, you know, make it, you guys want to be able to put a little extra time and polish into it and stuff. So it probably yeah. could still work out, but it's just what I saw, like, a lot of responses, like, even that, what was that game called, the... Project Phoenix or whatever that that right. big game was that was just right up on there it was a lot of Soul Saga fans were backing it and they were kept mentioning how they were amazed that they were that those all those big names were working for free on the project and that the it was going to go into like some other uh, art team like they were going to outsource the art workers or for the model 3D models or something like that and that's what the money was going to go into yeah um, but. Yeah, yeah, definitely. One of one of our biggest expenditures is definitely going to be getting Unity Pro licenses. Right now, we're we're working with Unity Free, and mm. the biggest thing we need is optimization, and we need that profiler mm. because yeah, batching and stuff too. It's a network. Since it's a network game, we need to batch a lot of stuff to make sure things are as optimized as possible, so we can reduce the amount of ping and lag that people are going to experience. Mm. You know, you're it's an online game, so you're you're going to experience some lag, but we want to reduce it as much as possible. That's one of our mm. biggest special expenditures. That and and we're hosting the servers ourselves, so part of that money would go into hosting that server. Yeah, at least for the mm. initial um, time of his existence. Yep. Especially if we do have a you know a good turnout of people, we also have enough. Uh, so that's open for them to play, I guess you could say. Yeah. Mm. So, will this be? Is this going to be a cl like kind of like a class-based game where it's kind of like kind of like uh, we're saying with uh, Team Fortress, where you you pick a character and he has sp kind of specific skill loadout and loosely loosely like that. Like some characters, for example, Kyle, which is a, she's a she's a sassy squirrel and she uses mm. cayenne peppers as her produce. She has mm. a chance to ignite you on fire. It's lower uh. than actually having the fire power up and she moves a lot she's a medium character, she so her movement speed and jump and stuff mm. is is you know, it's pretty balanced. But then you mm. have your bigger characters. They're a little bit slower but they can take a lot more damage and mm. their attacks do more and they all have different like Speed like and their throw like different mm. properties to their throw is like um, Grayson's Grayson's throw deuce isn't necessarily gonna bounce like as much as Tato's potatoes are gonna bounce or anything like that or the damage output so there's a there's a few categories that they're gonna be a little different so you'll you'll be able to find a character that your play style fit to you know. Mm. So you'll have, for example, cows. She's a corn mouse, and she throws corn. And sometimes her corn are actually shoot into a shotgun pattern mm. instead of just being a straight up corn cob. Gotcha. So they have little randomizations like that, and little different abilities. Yeah, that'd be yeah, pretty cool. That's. I feel like those types of games usually do well because of the variety and character classes I can choose and because and because you it's kind of like a new learning curve for each character yeah. and it's almost like a whole different play experience per character so uh, like sometimes you know the play experience is usually vastly different between the uh, classes so that it doesn't even feel like you know you're, you're playing the same game almost um, yeah I think that's when they do those games are most successful like Trying to, there's a game on Xbox 360 that my friend showed me, and it was like this game. I think it was made by a Japanese company, and they were. It was this game where everyone's like this tiny little. Uh, it's like this little chibi character, and they run around, and it's like a fantasy themed world. I can't think of what it's called. Save though. me night. No, no, it's a free game, and it's an online battle arena like this. Except oh, you have Happy like Wars. One, Happy Wars, that's what it was. And that's what this kind of reminds me of a little bit. Kind of like of happy like a mix between like Happy Wars and uh and that. Or and uh Happy Wars and 
Team Fortress. Um, I feel like this could benefit a lot from like maybe taking some inspiration from those those types of games where it has uh, like very specific classes set up. I know Happy Wars is doing like really well, like especially for only being an Xbox 360 game. I think they're making like millions of dollars. <laughs> Uh, that, that's a dream right there, but yeah. you know we we just want to make a fun game, and at mm-hmm. the end of the day, no. and you know get people playing and having fun and talking about the game. I'm, we don't want to charge like a crazy amount for the game. We we mm-hmm. rather make stuff so people like you know like shirts and and mm-hmm. printouts of the characters and people can have their favorite character and plushies and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Well, that's where microtransactions come in to help you, like, you can still support the development of your game, because, I mean, I hate money, but I have to do it to, I have to have it to make my games come true, right? So, but uh, I think I that games like this would, like, benefit from microtransactions and not feel like they really got in the way as long as it wasn't, like, you know. Yeah, and like, Valve does a really good job at doing that, like, with Team Fortress. Hmm. So that's something we're taking inspiration from, and yeah. and, and adding more characters, and we're not gonna be like, oh, you know, here's like a bunch of maps, pay us fifteen dollars for it. No, right. we'll, we'll give you, we'll reasonably price like a a map with a with a set of characters and stuff like that, mm. new characters and stuff. Because I mean, we can expand this and have a lot of characters. Dota does really well with that. Dota has. A- uh, yeah. Well, Dota doesn't. I, I guess I was trying to talk about League of, League of Legends. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. That's... Uh, does this play on the browser using Unity's browser? Yeah, yeah, we do have browser builds. Mm-hmm. So this, the latest one was a PC build. I think that would be a really good thing to advertise during the Kickstarter instead of giving people PC builds is instead be able to link them to the beta on the web browser. Yeah, we because have a this cute... definitely feels more like a if a kid, if especially if you're aiming more towards children, it's something where the parents don't want to install shit on the computer. Um, installing Unity would probably already be a bit of a of a hurdle for some of them, you know. But uh, as long as they already have the Unity thing installed, then they can from there. It's kind of yeah. you know that they, they don't have to install anything to like play your game, which is a good good thing. So here's something cute that I'm going to show you right now. Which is reference to that. Uh, let me share my screen. Oh, am I supposed to look at something? Yeah. Anyways. That's my trains. <laughs> <laughs> so you oh. see. It. I just Thank realized you. we don't need optimization from Unity Profiler because we got me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he, he just realized that. Well, actually, I did say something, and then I realized I was muted. Uh. <laughs> it's not showing. Let's see. Uh, uh, there we go. That's our cute little web player screen. I see. Is that... Wait. Uh, is it any different? Am I, am I looking at the wrong one? Yeah, this Maybe I'm looking at the right. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm looking at the right one. Yeah, Pixel so Oaks. We'll use that for the Kickstarter, and people can get like up to date alpha builds. Cool. Yeah, that's a yeah. I mean, that's a great way to do it because you know they don't have to install things, and well, as you know, the the biggest problem I have with the Unity web player is that you actually have to install the Unity web player, and it's not as diverse as Flash. Though Flash yeah. is actually kind of dying out now. Like, Flash is going to be dead pretty soon uh, with HTML, TML5, and uh, yeah. Java and everything. I wish Unity would try to find a way to branch off into HTML5 so that they would be in, like, well, install You can actually list. make um, native builds for... and it, But unfortunately, it only works in Chrome, but you can make native builds that you don't have to install anything. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, for Unity? Really? Yeah. Really? For Chrome? Yeah, but it like only the... works for Chrome. Oh, only for Chrome. I see. Why? I don't know. I guess oh, yeah. just the <laughs> easiest yeah. one because libraries. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Daniel can explain it better too. So if you use, so basically, can, so can anyone play any play it on any other browser? Or it only works on Chrome. 
I imagine that would be Chrome specific because it it I would guess that it uses the Chrome technology, so everything that is included in the SDK is available to that. Hmm. Interesting. Because it's because it's they lame. Yeah, because it definitely wouldn't be running straight on HTML. Like they'd have to be utilizing the Chrome, the Chrome Plus stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Well, since I just woke up, I'm starving. I haven't eaten breakfast yet, so I think <laughs> I'm gonna go do that. All right. So. Yeah. Thank you for showing me your game. Ah, uh, thanks, Mike for you coming on uh, and playing with us and telling us about your game and de definitely yeah. giving us some great pointers. You're, you're more than welcome to check more builds and definitely get with me about the models and stuff. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, I will. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Bye. Talk to you later, Mike. Bye, Mike. Bye. So, yeah, everybody, that was Mike Gale from... Disaster Cake and his game Soul Saga, and he came and played with us for a little bit. Um, definitely check us out from here on out. Things are gonna get taterific from here on out. Thank you. Can they can get from modelific? I guess they could. Grazer, grazer, can't even say that. Grazerific. <laughs> All right. Thanks everybody, and goodbye. Bye. Stop hitting me.